Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. American comics start with level 5 mutants. Chapter 81. Who is it? What happened? What happened? The Ancient One in Karmataj, Asgard's god King Odin Bolson, and those powerful beings all showed confusion in their eyes. The universe has changed without them noticing. They clearly sense this. How did you do it? Coupled with the two words they heard before the change started, they deeply suspected that this time the change was man-made. But, who has this power? God Eva and others were confused and surprised, and wanted to know who the person who did such an incredible thing was. While they were acting separately, trying to find out what specific changes had taken place, and who was responsible for all this, Su Yao was lying on the ground panting. After calming down for a while, he stood up and looked around. He found that the environment of the primeval forest had not changed much, but the originally clear sky had now turned into darkness. Did it succeed? Su Yao breathed a sigh of relief. Then, he immediately turned his attention to Cassius, or the Cosmic Cube. Now, as long as you obtain the Cosmic Rubik's Cube, you can restore various abilities and have the ability to protect yourself. After sensing it, he found that Cassius' side was not that far away from here, and he didn't know if it was because of the magic ritual. The next second, he immediately rushed there and notified Cassius to make the next move. Far away, Cassius and several followers had shock on their faces at this moment. This magic ritual was successful. It's incredible. Sky, as mages, they naturally studied and watched the specific information before arranging this magic ritual, but because of this, they had to be shocked. A magical ritual that was still being imagined and almost impossible to complete was actually completed. Cassius and others had to marvel at the power of that demon. Apart from the other party, they really couldn't figure out how this kind of ritual could be successful. At this time, the voice from the devil sounded in Cassius's head. Destroy the magic ritual and get out of there. You should have attracted some people's attention. Cassius was shocked when he heard this and knew that this was not a lie. It was impossible for some powerful beings not to sense the big noise caused here. The next second, he quickly used magic to destroy the magic ritual on the ground. After putting away the cosmic Rubik's Cube, he hurriedly left here with others. Sure enough, not long after they left here, orange sparks lit up nearby, and a portal was opened. The Supreme Mage Ancient One, wearing a yellow robe, with a unique temperament and a bald head, walked out of the portal. Glancing at the surrounding environment, he quickly knew what he was looking for, and a look of shock flashed through his eyes. Which dimensional demon can actually do such a thing? Obviously, he knew the function of this magical ritual. After a while, he looked towards the direction Cassius and others fled. Cassius, what have you done? Ancient One discovered that Cassius' fate had changed. His destiny, which was probably to be swallowed up by Dormammu, suddenly disappeared and changed inexplicably. Cassius even had a series of split endings, each of which had little connection with the previous one. In fact, it is changing all the time, and seems to be affected by some external force, causing his ending to change frequently. Gu Yi felt that a layer of fog enveloped him, making it difficult to judge his outcome. Needless to say, the cause of all this must be related to the dimensional demon god that the other party communicated with. A look of doubt flashed in Gu's eyes. He felt that it was necessary to find out what Cassius had been doing during this period. He was meditating here and escaped from Cassius. At this time, he was following the instructions of the devil and placed the cosmic Rubik's cube in an open space. Not long after he left, Su Yao's figure appeared here. Is this the cosmic cube? He looked to the ground. The cosmic Rubik's cube shone with a faint light and lay quietly on the ground. Even after experiencing such horrific consumption, it was no different from before except that the light dimmed a little. Even this dimness is restored visibly to the naked eye. Extremely unscientific. Sue, don't get close, I feel it's very dangerous. Venom warned tremblingly. Su Yao naturally knew this too. Infinity stones are dangerous things, and rash contact with them may cause life-threatening consequences, even if they are covered with a shell, the cosmic cube is no exception. The Red Skull, the villain of Team America, once touched the Cosmic Cube with his hand and was teleported to outer space. Su Yao hesitated for a moment, and finally decided to touch it with his own hands. In order to restore various abilities, we have to do this. He stepped close to the Universe Rubik's Cube, 
squatted down behind him, stretched out his right index finger, and touched it cautiously. If there is an accident, use light energy to block it. With this thought in mind, his fingers touched the cosmic cube. The place where his finger came into contact with the cosmic Rubik's cube immediately glowed with a burst of blue light. The blue light of the cosmic cube flashes. Boom! A vast burst of blue energy surrounded Su Yao like dust. Su Yao didn't expect that the movement would be so big. Suddenly, as if this energy had found some source, it seeped into his body. At this moment, his whole body was surrounded by the blue space energy of the cosmic Rubik's cube. Su Yao only felt that the Orochi imitation panel that originally had problems was recovering quickly. Soon, he discovered that all the damage caused by losing control of his abilities had disappeared. At this time, even without the cosmic Rubik's cube, he could quickly unlock each of his previous abilities with energy points. Not to mention, at this moment, under the energy of the cosmic Rubik's cube, his locked abilities are also recovering one by one, and the level is still the previous level, without any changes. Ability. Black particles unlocked. Ability. Rebound shield unlocked. Ability. Space transfer unlocked. Just when he was about to unlock the next ability, there was a sudden sound of the portal opening. Su Yao's eyes, which were covered by a black hood, glanced out of the corner of his eye, and he was shocked to find that he had a bald head. In just a moment, he recognized who this person was. The Supreme Mage of Karmataj, the Ancient One. Su Yao frowned. Obviously, this Supreme Mage must have sensed the energy of the Cosmic Cube nearby, so he came here to check it out. There's some trouble. This thought flashed through Su Yao's mind. With his current ability, there is a high probability that he is no match for this bald man. After all, this supreme mage can protect the earth for hundreds of years and prevent Dormammu and other dimensional demons from invading. I guess he has a lot of tricks that he can't deal with at the moment. The next moment, he had the idea of leaving. As his hand touched the cosmic Rubik's cube, he felt that his ability to shift space was amplified by infinite blessings. Space transfer experience plus one. Just as he was about to leave with the Universe Rubik's Cube, the moment he disappeared, a yellow energy whip grabbed the Universe Rubik's Cube. With a whoosh, his figure disappeared, but the Cosmic Rubik's Cube remained. Who are you? Looking at the disappeared man in black, surprise flashed in Gu's eyes. She glanced at the Cosmic Cube and didn't pay much attention to it. She naturally knew what it was, and she also knew that it was something left here by Odin, the God King of Asgard. At this moment, all her attention was attracted by the mysterious man in black. She could feel that the mysterious man in black was filled with a lot of mysterious energy. She even saw just now that this person was plundering the energy of the universe Rubik's Cube. Who is he that can do such a thing? What's the relationship with Cassius? This question popped up in Ji Yi's mind. She was confused here. Su Yao appeared in a small town 200 kilometers away. He glanced at his hand. The cosmic cube was taken away. Su Yao frowned. It's obviously just a little bit close, but there is another ability that can be restored. Even if you give him a few more minutes, it will be very simple to fully recover. Unfortunately, Ji Yi showed up halfway and snatched away the cosmic Rubik's cube. As a result, his current abilities have not been fully restored. Only the three abilities of black particles, rebound shield, and space transfer have been restored. Su Yao felt that it was difficult. Getting the cosmic cube from Ji Yu Yi was not as simple as getting it from Shield. It could even be said that it was almost impossible at the moment. Let's not talk about Ancient One's magical strength. Let's just say that the opponent has the Eye of Agamotto, which is a magical weapon loaded with the Time Stone, one of the Infinity Stones, which makes it even more difficult to deal with. Although using the Time Stone would have adverse effects, Ancient One would not use it unless absolutely necessary, and even warned Doctor Strange not to use it until a life or death situation. But who knows if she will use this time-controlling artifact if pressed. Su Yao frowned and thought for a while, then suddenly thought of something and breathed a sigh of relief. I remember that in S.H.I.E.L.D., there seemed to be some weapons that used the energy of the Cosmic Rubik's Cube, such as the energy gun that appeared in Captain America, which could instantly evaporate people with one shot. Perhaps, we can ask Cassius to steal some of these weapons and absorb the energy inside. Su Yao's eyes lit up slightly. 
Compared to taking something from Ancient One's hand, it's easier to take it from Shield. That is, if you want the horse to run, you must give it some grass. The pie that was drawn before was not given to Cassius. Su Yao pondered, thinking about what ability to lend to the other party. It's too iconic and will be recognized by others. It won't work for the time being, so the only way is to shift the space and modify the probability. After thinking about it, he decided to lend Cassius the space transfer first, so that the success rate would be higher when he went to shield to grab things. If you don't want to anymore, you can take this ability back at any time. The next second, his attention was focused on Cassius. Dark Woods, Cassius and others felt uneasy. I wonder if that person's promise will be fulfilled after completing the person's work. Cassius, who was preparing to arrange the communication ceremony, suddenly heard a mysterious voice in his head. There are several ways to resurrect people. The secret treasure of your supreme mage Karmataj is the Eye of Agamotto. It can reverse time, and Asgard's eternal fire. As Su Yao told Cassius every possibility, a look of shock appeared in his eyes. Are there so many ways to resurrect people? But as he listened, he sighed a little. None of these methods would be easy to achieve. Even the Eye of Agamotto is the same. To use the Eye of Agamotto, you must have a pure heart and be approved by it. It will not respond to the orders of the evil wearer. It's not like he hasn't tried the idea of the Eye of Agamotto before, but it obviously failed. As for the other methods mentioned by the Demon God, they are also difficult to achieve. Great Demon God, I can't do any of these methods. Can you give me a simpler method? Cassius begged. There was a pause, and then the mysterious sound sounded again. You continue to help me, and when the time comes, I will help you resurrect your wife and children. Su Yao drew a pie. He does not have the ability to resurrect people. At most, he will see if he can help Cassius get the eternal fire later. However, it was obvious that Cassius did not know this and did not feel unusual. Instead, he was a little excited and grateful. Without thinking, he directly agreed to the plan. Great demon god, what else do you need me to do? Cassius said respectfully. I need you to go to shield again to get. Su Yao said about grabbing energy guns and other things. Finally, he said something in Cassius's excited mood. Last time I promised you to give you power after arranging the magic ceremony. Now I give you what you want. Soon, Cassius felt that he could use an ability based on his connection with the demon. The next second, he disappeared from the spot under the surprised eyes of several followers and appeared nearly 10 meters away. Space Teleportation Ability Cassius was excited. Even though he knows how to teleport, this kind of magic is a bit difficult to use in battle. How convenient is this kind of teleportation? It can be said that with this ability, his combat and survival abilities have improved a lot. It's just that the distance is a bit short. Cassius is a bit sorry. However, this is okay. There are also portals that can make up for the shortcomings and provide long-distance transmission. Cassius was surprised, the five followers were envious, and Su Yao was relieved. Fortunately, this Cassius does not think too highly of himself and feels that space transfer is not possible. But that's right, as a mage, the ability to transfer space should indeed be very good in his eyes, or maybe Su Yao himself feels that space transfer is a bit weak. Finally, Su Yao said the last words under Cassius' excited and expectant eyes. As long as you complete the tasks I assigned you, I can lend you other powers in the future. After saying that, Su Yao disconnected and turned his attention to himself. As the Scarlet Witch's panel awakened, Su Yao couldn't help but wonder who the next target of imitation would be. He tried to feel as much as he could like last time. Suddenly, the next second, Su Yao was in a daze, as if he saw a hazy figure shrouded in light. In a daze, a name appeared in his mind. God of Light, Balder Odinson. As soon as the name came to his mind, Su Yao suddenly woke up. It's him, God of Light. Su Yao was a little surprised. If it were just the God of Light, he might not recognize it, but if the word Odinson was added to the suffix, he would know who it was. In Orthodox Norse mythology, the son of God King Odin and God Queen Frigga, the God of Light, Balder. He is naturally sunny and handsome, and all the beautiful descriptions in the world can be applied to him without exaggeration. He is very popular and loved by the gods. However, because of his death, the world fell into Ragnarok, the prelude to Ragnarok. 
His death plunged the world into darkness, the sun lost its heat, strong cold winds blew from all directions, and it fell into the Finbal winter. Spring, summer, and autumn are all gone, and the remaining days are cold and dark. Horrible wars broke out in every corner of the world, and moral depravity broke out. Fathers, sons, and brothers kill each other, and people's respect for parents and love for children disappear ruthlessly. Instead, everyone is insecure and selfish, and violence and chaos breed and spread. It can be said that as soon as Baldur, the god of light, died, the world lost its warmth and light. Su Yao was surprised. The next person to be imitated is actually him. He couldn't imagine what abilities he would gain by imitating him. Moreover, it is also related to Asgard. But, unfortunately, the Scarlet Witch must be unlocked first. But it's coming soon. It shouldn't be long. Su Yao was looking forward to it. While he was studying his abilities, time passed quickly, and soon dawn came the next day. Everyone who had just woken up had no idea how everything around them would change when they woke up. Birds chirped. Inside the luxurious villa, Iron Man Tony Stark slapped Hatch and walked to the bathroom a little sleepily. Good morning, sir. The middle-aged man's voice sounded from artificial intelligence Jarvis. Good morning Jarvis. Tony replied casually and started to wash up. But before he could start, Jarvis's voice continued. Sir, I'm sorry to bother you but I have to remind you that just five hours ago, something changed in the world. Tony obviously didn't realize the seriousness of the matter and said casually, what can change? As he spoke, he started washing. But after Jarvis gave a brief report, Tony Stark's jaw almost dropped. Wait, what did you say, mutant? Not only has the world changed a lot, but what the hell kind of mutants have appeared? Tony couldn't believe it and he wondered if there was something wrong with Jarvis's system, or if he hadn't woken up yet and was still dreaming. Otherwise, how could he have such an outrageous dream? It simply challenges his scientific thinking. When Jarvis projected the changes that had taken place in various places and the information about mutants in front of him one by one, Tony Stark pinched his thigh and had to accept this in shock. Let me see what the hell these mutants are. Tony Stock waved his right hand and kept scrolling through the data projection in front of him. Finally, after he finished reading it, he began to doubt his life and felt that all the science he had learned was in vain. These mutants can actually use supernatural powers. What is the principle? Tony was shocked. Wait, what is this? Suddenly, his eyes turned to a news headline. Devil, devil. The messiah among mutants. Destroy the city. Tony couldn't believe what he was seeing. After seeing the information about mutants, Tony was surprised, but deep down he still didn't care too much, confident that he could handle it. Until he saw this headline, his face was shocked and solemn. The devil among mutants, the messiah. The ability went out of control and destroyed a city. Tony read this news information, and the more he read it, the more shocked and numb he became. An entire city of things and people was destroyed like this. To be honest, Tony doubted the authenticity of this news at this moment. If someone can destroy a city, is that still a human being? Until, with the help of Jarvis, he saw a video from not long ago. A young man in black clothes floated high in the sky, his body emitting a rich light. The sun's rays were directly above his head, illuminating the entire city. Tony was a little frightened. Under the light, Countless things, including roads, cars, houses, and people, turned into dust particles and dissipated. When everything calmed down, only a big pit and some building debris were left on the spot, and everything else disappeared. At this moment, Tony had to face up to the alien group of mutants, or in other words, to face up to this mutant boy. This man is so dangerous. This thought came to his mind, and Tony quickly thought about whether there was any way to counter it and researched something to counter the opponent. While thinking about it, Tony Stark also had some thoughts about the boy. What kind of person is he? Why is it possible to do such a thing as destroying a city? Doubts emerged in his mind. The Messiah among mutants. Tony was confused here, and S.H.I.E.L.D. had already discovered something was wrong. When they listed the anomalies one by one, all the dozen or so agents present were shocked. Oh my god, it's like we've changed worlds. How did these people and things appear suddenly? Fortunately, the changes were not too serious. What frightened them the most was the addition of a group of so-called mutants. 
is it an inhuman? Nick Fury looked through the information with a solemn expression, and couldn't help but think of a foreign object obelisk that S.H.I.E.L.D. had confiscated. Most people who touch this thing will die, but there are some who are lucky enough to survive, but without exception, these people have all awakened superpowers. Their research found that there is a special alien gene in these people. When he first saw the information about mutants, Nick Fury thought they were members of a group of inhumans. Until he saw subsequent information and videos, he had to overturn this conclusion. Under the gaze of many agents and him, the young man in the sky pointed his finger into space, and then infinite light was released. Countless buildings melted under the high temperatures, fires covered the entire city, and whales could be heard everywhere. In the end, the entire city turned into dust and scattered under the aftermath of the sun. The sounds of breathing sounded one after another here. Everyone felt terrified. Nick Fury clenched his hand even more, staring intently at the young man high in the sky with one black eye. He had to admit that compared to the so-called Inhumans, this mutant was a truly terrifying monster, able to do such terrifying things. In a short period of time, an entire city was destroyed. Whether it was the woman at the beginning or the boy who finally destroyed the city, each one was extremely terrifying. Nick Fury couldn't help but stretched out his hand and touched a bump in his arms, a black BB machine. This pager was used to call Captain Marvel. Nick Fury was a little unsure whether to call Captain Marvel all the way from outer space. If there is a surprise, it will definitely be able to resist this mutant boy or even kill him. Nick Fury is very confident in Captain Marvel. This mutant must be controlled. I can't imagine the consequences if it gets out of control. He murmured. Nick Fury began to think about how he could capture this mutant boy with minimal casualties and then control him to prevent him from losing control or get rid of him. After all, this mutant is too dangerous. Nick Fury really didn't understand how a mutant's small body could release such terrifying power. He was filled with doubts. At the same time, if nothing can be done, he will decisively call Captain Marvel back to punish this mutant. Please investigate this mutant carefully, find his location, and formulate a solid capture plan. Nick Fury gave the order in a deep voice. One by one, the agents immediately responded to the order and began to take action. Several of the agents looked at each other, and a strange light flashed in their eyes. We, Hydra, must get this terrifying weapon. He's ours. The members of Hydra were equally eager to find the boy who could destroy the city at this moment, and at the same time they analyzed his weaknesses. As long as you are a living creature, you will have weaknesses and be careless. There can be no invincible people. Former S.H.I.E.L.D. director and secretly hidden Hydra undercover Alexander Pierce thought confidently. As long as you find this mutant boy and successfully capture him, you can carry out a series of brainwashing work and turn him into a terrifying weapon exclusive to their Hydra. At that time, who in the world can resist them? Pierce was a little excited. At the same time, S.H.I.E.L.D. and other major organizations are still secretly investigating to find out who and what caused the world to change and so many abnormalities to appear. While major institutions are taking action, the American people who wake up in the morning are already stunned. Especially for people in places like Hell's Kitchen, today is an even worse day. Who knew that when you wake up, the world becomes more dangerous? Mutant, mutants, paying attention to the information about the mutants, they couldn't help but feel afraid. Especially when they discovered Su Yao's information, they became even more silent. These monsters, especially this freak, I won't wake up the next day and I will be dead, right? At this moment, they felt insecure as never before. While major organizations and even superheroes were taking action, Su Yao was working hard to collect energy points. Under the sunlight, the energy points continue to rise. Light energy plus one, light energy plus one. Su Yao also knew that there would definitely be many people looking for him. Looks like I need to disguise it a little bit. He threw away the black clothes he had been wearing and decided to find a new one later, and at the same time turned Venom into a black mask, covering most of his face. I just don't know how long it can be delayed. I just hope that my strength can be restored before those people come. I don't know how Cassius is doing, or whether he got those cosmic cube energy weapons. Thinking of this very capable tool man, Su Yao's eyes showed curiosity. The next second, his attention was directed to Cassius. 
As soon as Su Yao focused his attention on the connection with Cassius, he couldn't help but look surprised. How long had it passed before Cassius actually got some? On a wooden table, seven black cosmic cube energy guns were placed. In the center of the gun body, a bright blue light flashes, and the energy stored in it is clearly the energy of the universe Rubik's Cube. At this time, Cassius, who was sitting in front of the chair, was taking something out of a small circle of portals that opened in front of him. If you look closely, it's a cosmic cube energy gun. Is this the warehouse where these super weapons were found? Su Yao's mouth twitched. Did they plant a mole in shield? Otherwise, how could we find the warehouse storing such dangerous weapons so quickly? Looking at the energy guns on the wooden table, Su Yao became a little excited. With these energy guns, the locked ability can definitely be restored a lot. And thinking about it, Cassius should still be able to get a lot of these weapons before Shield finds out. After all, compared to the Cosmic Rubik's Cube, this kind of standard weapon, which is more or less available, does not attract much attention. While Cassius was trying to snatch the energy gun from the Shield warehouse, the Supreme Mage Ancient One also figured out a lot of things. Among them, there is the emergence of mutants. Look at the woman releasing terrifying energy in the picture, and the young man in black who releases light in the sky and easily destroys a city. Ji Yu Yi's expression was slightly solemn, and his attention was raised by three points. At the same time, she also noticed some familiarity, and quickly recognized the young man in black in the sky. He should be the mysterious man in black who she had contacted not long ago. But then, she didn't care anymore. Compared to the Dimension Demon, she doesn't want to interfere with matters inside the earth. During this time, she also found out what Cassius had done. Is this the devil? Ji Yu Yi flipped through an ancient book that introduced this demon god, and his face gradually became serious. At the same time, she was also a little confused about the purpose of this demon god. What does he want to do? Why did you do that feat? What good does this do him? Unable to figure it out, Ji Yu Yi decided to communicate in person. Skillfully arranging the magic ritual, she soon contacted this mysterious being. She asked, Unknown demon god, what is your purpose and why do you want to cause such a big incident? Su Yao, who was observing Cassius, was startled when he heard Ji Yu Yi's voice. Following the connection of the magic ritual, he naturally saw the Supreme Mage Ancient One wearing a yellow robe. Facing her question, Su Yao's eyes flickered and he quickly thought about how to answer the other party. Soon, a mysterious sound like Sanskrit music reached Ji Yu Yi's ears. Just think of it as boring. You don't have any purpose. But you, a supreme mage who relies on absorbing the power of the dark dimension to survive, like to take care of my affairs. Ji Yu Yi, whose face was only slightly solemn at first, suddenly changed his expression. This unknown demon god actually noticed it. Su Yao naturally knew this kind of thing. In movies, Cassius once had a complete collapse of his outlook on life because of the ancient mage absorbing the energy of the dark dimension and delaying his life. This was also the last straw that led him to seek refuge in Dormammu. Of course, things are not what Cassius thought. The supreme mage draws the power of the dark dimension not just to extend his life. In order to protect the earth for a long time and not be invaded by beings from outer dimensions, that is, beings like Dormammu, she had to draw the power of the dark dimension to extend her life, and in order to wait for her successor. And absorbing the power of the dark dimension will not be so pleasant. Not only must one endure the erosion of the body by dark forces, but one must also resist the temptation from dark forces, always struggling between light and darkness. This kind of mental exhaustion and struggle is not something ordinary people can endure. Cassius, for example, did not have such a firm will, and fell into darkness in a short period of time, becoming a fanatical believer in Dormammu. The next successor, Doctor Strange, once asked Ancient One why he wanted to absorb the power of darkness, but Master Ancient One said that people can't just care about themselves. After Doctor Strange appeared, she gave up on absorbing the power of the dark dimension. At the same time, she was also afraid that one day she would be swallowed by the power of darkness and bring unnecessary disaster to the world. In the end, she chose relief and ended the pain and suffering in a hasty way like falling from a high building. The mysterious sound like Sanskrit music continued to ring in Ji Yu Yi's ears. All actions are impermanent, 
all dharmas have no self, and all feelings are suffering. Nothing in the world is eternal, and nothing is fixed. Everything must be baptized by suffering. Supreme Mage Ancient One, you have suffered enough. If you choose to take refuge in me, I will give you strength and life, freeing you from the erosion and pain from the dark forces. Listening to the mysterious sounds in his ears, Master Ji Yuyi not only did not feel relaxed, but his expression became more serious. Just a few words made her feel that this demon god became even more terrifying. Like Dormammu, there is no way he could say such a thing. The next second, Su Yao felt that the connection was disconnected. It was Master Ji Yuyi who took the initiative to cancel the ceremony. Su Yao was a little regretful, but not surprised. To be honest, what he just said was half truth and half lie, but the fact that taking refuge gives strength and life is not a lie. Rather than absorbing the power of the dark dimension, whether it is the light energy or chaos magic in him, it is more suitable for any mage. In particular, light energy is not only positive, but is even suspected of being able to sustain life. After all, I suffer from several types of cancer and can rely on light energy to prolong my life. I also know that light energy is not as simple as it seems. Su Yao pondered, but he takes a long-term view and catches big fish. It doesn't matter whether he gets something or not. It's the best if he does something. He can accept it without him. While he was basking in the sun and collecting light energy, time passed quickly, and soon it was the morning of the third day. The bright morning sun shone brightly, and the morning dew smell was heavy. Inside a dilapidated wooden house. Following the dim light, you can see about 20 black energy guns placed on the table. These are the results of the hard work of Cassius and others during this period. If S.H.I.E.L.D. hadn't discovered it early, the warehouse would have been emptied. Although S.H.I.E.L.D. still has a lot of this kind of weapon, it will be more difficult to get it next. S.H.I.E.L.D. has sent heavy troops to guard it, and it will probably take Cassius some careful planning before he can continue to obtain it. In the past two days, Cassius has also been planning. Su Yao put his hand on an energy gun. Soon, the space energy in the gun rioted, and he was instantly attracted by the snake's ability. Blue energy flashed, and wisps of it seeped up onto Su Yao's palm and quickly entered his body. As soon as the energy of this gun was absorbed, an ability that was about to be restored was quickly unlocked. Ability. Divine finger unlocked. A beep sounds. Su Yao looked at the other 20 energy guns. As time passed, energy guns were absorbed one after another. Ability. Spiritual power light pillar unlocked. Ability. Soul removal unlocked. Alerts sounded one after another. Finally, only sunshine and floating flight are left that have not yet been restored. Hey, why can't these guns have more energy? Looking at the more than 20 cosmic cube energy guns that had been sucked dry, Su Yao felt a little pity. The two most critical abilities have not been restored. Then, he turned his attention to the Scarlet Witch's panel. Energy points. 39,573. Unlocking progress 31%. With nearly 40,000 energy points, I don't know how much the Scarlet Witch's imitation progress can be improved. Su Yao Yuan looked forward to it. Can the most critical chaos magic be unlocked? What changes will happen to the body? The next second, he added all energy points to the unlocking progress. The 31% unlocking progress was blurred and suddenly changed. Unlocking progress 70%. At the same time, a prompt sounded in Su Yao's surprised eyes. Ability. Chaos Magic Unlocked. Ability. Chaos Magic 0100s Level 1. In just a moment, he felt something strange in his body. A familiar warm current appeared and quickly flowed throughout his body, and his cell genes were changing. In a short period of time, his genetic cells became more mysterious and contained more mysterious powers. Ah, what happened? Venom screamed and crawled out of his right hand, a look of shock on his face. Just now, Sus' body had changed again. He didn't know if it was his imagination, but he found that Sus' body was even more mysterious. Just staying in his body for a moment, he felt that his whole body's strength had increased a lot. As Sus' body became more mysterious, he who resided in Sus' body also became much stronger. The most obvious thing is that the venom suit formed by the venom is estimated to be able to perfectly resist human pistol and rifle bullets. 
perhaps, now only specially made armor piercing and armor breaking bullets can break through his defense. Venom is very confident. Now he is much stronger than that stupid half body. The accumulation during this period is enough for him to defeat the opponent. If we meet again, hee hee, I will definitely give you a surprise. Venom was shocked and secretly happy. Su Yao ignored him and continued to feel the abnormalities in his body. He only felt that his nerves were very active at this moment. In human terms, his mind was active and energetic, and his reaction to things was much faster. As this spiritual power, Su Yao could feel that there seemed to be a force in his head. However, this power is a bit weak, and there is a feeling that there is no place to use it. Of course, although it is a little weak, there are not or two concepts. Just like before, even if other people with mental abilities used their mental abilities on him, he might not be able to detect it. Now, relying on this spiritual power, you can completely resist and notice attacks from other people with spiritual abilities. Even as the level of chaos magic increases, the spiritual power is likely to increase as well. Ignoring these changes for the time being, Su Yao focused on a mysterious force within his body. Raising his right hand, he tried to mobilize the mysterious power in his body. As this chaos magic, Su Yao murmured, at this moment, a red light appeared on his right hand. Su Yao's right hand glowed red. The next second, the black pistols originally placed on the table floated together. They move irregularly in the air. Chaos magic experience plus one. Su Yao was thoughtful while controlling them to float. It seems that the power of the first level is a bit weak. He could clearly feel that floating so many guns was already a bit troublesome. Maybe a dozen more at most would be enough to reach the limit. Apart from controlling objects with mind power, Su Yao didn't find any other differences in chaos magic. I don't know if I can use chaos magic to use psychic abilities. Su Yao remembered that in the early days, at a very close distance, chaos magic could confuse people's minds, create illusions in the other person's mind, and so on. However, there is currently only one stunned Venom in the room, and there is no target for him to test. Venom's resistance to psychic abilities is almost full, so he can't test it to any effect. Bang bang bang. Putting down these guns, Su Yao frowned slightly and tried to modify reality. The next second, his hands emitted red light, and the red light enveloped the table. However, to his disappointment, the table did not change for a while. The level of chaos magic is too low. Su Yao was a little disappointed, but then he felt that it made sense. If level 1 chaos magic could do this, Wanda wouldn't be such a loser in the early stage. Of course, it may also have something to do with the fact that modifying reality can only be activated when emotions are out of control, and it is a passive ability. Forget it, don't think about it anymore, let's improve the level of chaos magic first. Chaos magic experience plus one. Chaos magic experience plus one. Chaos magic experience plus one. Su Yao's hands glowed red and he immediately started practicing chaos magic. In the following time, things in the house kept flying one by one. Chaos magic experience plus one. Since he was only at the first level and the light energy in his body was sufficient, it didn't take long for the prompt to sound. Chaos magic experience plus one. Ability. Chaos magic, zero five hundredths, level two. As the chaos magic reached the second level, Su Yao could feel that the upper limit of light energy in his body had increased a little more, and the sunlight shining in from the window was constantly being absorbed by him. At the same time, the upper limit of Chaos Magic's telekinesis control has been increased, and it can now lift objects weighing hundreds of kilograms. The most impressive thing is that it can easily lift an adult with Chaos Magic. Level 2 is still a bit weak, but my mental strength has increased a lot. Su Yao could feel that his brain was more active, and the jerky feeling of wielding chaos magic was reduced and became much smoother. A ball of red light flickered in his hand, and the next second, the red light was thrown to the center of the wooden table. With a bang, a hole was blasted out of the wooden table. Barely, Su Yao was a little dissatisfied and continued to practice chaos magic. Time passed and it was morning two days later. A beep sounds. Chaos magic experience plus one. Ability. Chaos Magic, 0 one thousandths, level 3. Su Yao flicked it casually, and in Venom's surprised eyes, a red light flashed, 
and the entire wooden table fell apart, and even a pit appeared on the ground. The next second, his hands flashed with the red light exclusive to chaos magic, and then his whole body flew up under the power of chaos magic. Sure enough, Su Yao tried it and found that the speed was not as fast as floating flying, and the consumption was about the same as when using controlled objects. It was much more expensive than the constant state of floating flying. Forget it, you can still use it if you can. At least there is still a usable flying method before floating flight resumes. After sensing the growing light energy in his body, Su Yao murmured, it's time to leave here. I have been staying in this house for several days. If I don't leave, someone will probably come to my door. Su, are you finally leaving this boring place? Venom was a little excited. Su Yao nodded and disappeared into the house in a flash. Two hours later, Su Yao was walking on a remote path. At this time, he had changed his outfit. In order to prevent others from recognizing him, he deliberately chose to wear white clothes, white pants, white masks, and even white shoes this time. As for Venom, he turned into a black eye patch mask, butterfly-shaped, somewhat similar to the masks of Wolverine and Jean in the comics. There was no way, Su Yao was really too lazy to think of a mask style, so he could only use it as an imitation. Suddenly, there was a rush of footsteps from the front, accompanied by a loud roar. Stop, mutant in front, raise your hands and stand still. I saw two men and one woman running in front, and behind them were four policemen with guns. Get out of the way. A young woman with magenta hair and light green eyes who was running ahead reminded Su Yao in front of him with a frightened look on her face. Su Yao frowned slightly and was about to step away. But at this time, one of the four police officers chasing behind him looked down at a palm-sized monitor. The next second, he shouted at the strange man standing not far away, dressed in all white, with his face covered by a white hood and mask, don't let him go, he is also a mutant. What, whether it was the three flashes who asked Su Yao to get out of the way or the other three policemen, their eyes flashed with surprise. Not to mention them, the crowds of spectators who were watching the arrest through cameras were also a little surprised. Afterwards, tens of thousands of spectators became excited. Since the horrific light incident a few days ago, not only society but also the government's attitude toward mutants has changed. Not only has it not gotten better, but it has become worse. The government began to send people to arrest mutants. In order to stabilize people's hearts and make the people believe that mutants can be defeated, Many arrest operations were broadcast live, and this time was no exception. Therefore, seeing another variant appearing in front of them, the audience was relieved from the fear of these days, and their faces showed excitement. God bless, there is finally another mutant. It seems that the police officers have another achievement. Hurry, catch him quickly. Just when the audience was looking forward to it, the four policemen looked at each other, immediately raised the special pistols in their hands, and started shooting with Su Yao. Bang bang bang, one after another, the small injection syringe carrying the mutant inhibitor quickly shot towards Su Yao. However, just when the three people flashing their eyes showed panic and the police and the audience looked expectant, the needles actually stayed in the air. What, what, you stopped, what happened? The four policemen looked shocked, and the tens of thousands of spectators were equally surprised. The three of them were stunned in panic. At this moment, a red light appeared on the right hand of the man in white. This is, mutant abilities, what kind of ability is this, telepathy? The audience reacted and then breathed a sigh of relief. They thought something was going on, but it turned out to be mutant powers. As long as it is revealed, this ability looks like mind control, so it shouldn't be that scary. Just because this person can control his gaze on the needle does not mean he can control the metal bullet. The kinetic energies of the two are completely different. During this time, both the police and the audience have seen many strange abilities. It is not like they have never seen this kind of thing that startled them at the beginning. But without exception, they were all arrested in the end. The audience is full of confidence. Su Yao raised his head and glanced at the transparent needles frozen in the air. In just a moment, he knew what it was, an injection that could suppress the abilities of mutants. He waved his hand. The next second, the needles changed direction, and then flew towards the police officer with a whoosh sound. Hide quickly. The four police officers were startled and wanted to dodge, but unfortunately these needles seemed to have locked onto them, and it was useless no matter how hard they tried to dodge. 
Puff puff, the needle was inserted into their bodies. Fortunately, this is specifically aimed at mutants and has no effect on them. The officers breathed a sigh of relief. They reacted quickly and raised the real thing they had just taken out, and fired in the direction of Su Yao. Ah, the three people were startled by the flash not far away. This is a real gun. Then, a scene that surprised them appeared. The eight or nine bullets were also frozen in midair. Among the four police officers, one of the white police officers, Donald, saw that the bullets had no effect and hurriedly threw the thing hanging from his waist. Black round things streaked across the air. Boom. Along with the violent explosion, the fire enveloped Su Yao. At this moment, both the police officers and tens of thousands of spectators breathed a sigh of relief. This is a specially made bomb that can even blow through steel doors. It is specially designed to deal with mutants who are difficult to deal with and can pose a life-threatening threat to police officers. A scene that shocked the three people in Shuang and surprised others appeared. After the fire, the man in white still stood there, completely unscathed. A ball of red light enveloped him, and it seemed that it was because of this red light that the bomb did not hurt him. This, this mutant's ability can actually resist bombs. Before the police and the audience could recover, Su Yao waved his hand, and the remains of the bullets fired earlier were fired at the four police officers one after another. Screams broke out all of a sudden, and the four policemen fell to the ground and struggled. Su Yao stepped forward slowly, crouched down and approached the fallen policeman with his right hand. What are you going to do? Don't want. Ignoring their frightened shouts, a ray of red light flashed on Su Yao's hand, and then penetrated into their heads. He tried to activate his psychic abilities and induce the things they feared most in their hearts. Soon, the four police officers' eyes became horrified, as if they had seen the most terrifying thing in their lives. Su Yao was thoughtful. Are you hallucinating? He placed his hand on the forehead of one of the policemen, and psychic power entered his heart. In the dark night, in the old dilapidated villa, Su Yao saw this man being chased by a female ghost. During the process, the man's face was full of horror. Afraid of ghosts. Deep down in his heart, is this person afraid of ghosts? This is interesting. Su Yao found it interesting and entered the heads of three other policemen. Two of them were afraid of something that was nothing unusual, but the other one was afraid of something that made him startled. In the illusion, a very familiar man in black was floating in the sky, looking at all the ants below him indifferently. The next second, the light that destroyed everything enveloped everything. No, no, monster, monster. The policeman cowered on the ground with a look of horror on his face, shouting repeatedly. Su Yao was startled. Deep down in his heart, is it actually me that this person is afraid of? The corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Is it so scary to scare this policeman like this? After experiencing his psychic abilities for a while, Su Yao did not continue. However, even though he let go, the tens of thousands of netizens who watched all this through the drone camera in the air, as well as the three flashes, looked at him like a monster. Especially when they saw that the four policemen who had woken up all turned pale and frightened, shouting in fear, the look in their eyes at Su Yao became even weirder. What did he do? Following the demon that glowed and destroyed the city last time, another powerful mutant appeared. The audience also felt frightened, and they felt increasingly uneasy and jealous of mutants. At this time, there was a sound of footsteps in the distance, and five more policemen rushed over. Su Yao frowned and glanced at the four people lying on the ground. The next second, a red light enveloped them, and then violently threw them towards the five people in the distance. Ah, suddenly, screams broke out, and five policemen in the distance fell to the ground. Before leaving, Su Yao noticed a strange movement in the sky, and a ball of red light instantly condensed in his right hand. With a flick of his hand, with a bang, the drone that was filming in the sky crashed immediately. With one last glance at the police in the distance, Su Yao left quickly. Before his strength recovered, he didn't want to cause too much trouble, so he had no choice but to break the jar and directly test the chaos magic. Watching his leaving figure, the three of them looked at each other and hurriedly followed him. When Su Yao heard the footsteps, he frowned slightly and glanced at the three of them, his eyes lingering on Shuang Shuang for a moment longer. He recognized who the young girl was. Red hair and green eyes are rare, especially when she looks similar to a certain Bingbing. 
Obviously, this person is Flicker in the X-Men, that is, the female mutant who opened the portal in Days of Future Past, but was stabbed to death by the Ghost Sentry robot in the end. And the twinkling in front of him looks relatively young. Hey, wait for us. The white young man among the three shouted hurriedly. Su Yao slowed down a little, wanting to see what they were going to say. His green eyes flickered and he said with an expectant look on his face. Now is a dangerous time. We are all mutants. We should help each other and unite with each other so that we can resist the coming crisis. Your strength is very good. Are you interested in joining our group? Su Yao shook his head. Fixed in a position waiting to be found, he didn't think that when he was found, these people would be able to withstand the siege of the sentry robot. Seeing his refusal, the three of them were a little disappointed, and tried to persuade him again. After seeing that he really had no intention of joining, they stopped trying to persuade him and started chatting. Huan Huan sighed, with a faint look of anger on his face, those people are really too much. They will do anything to catch us. After telling them a little bit about them, Shuang Shuang showed unwillingness and sighed. It would be great if the mutant messiah was here. If he was here, those people would not dare to cause trouble for us. The white young man Al said angrily, yes, if he were the messiah, he would definitely give those guys a good look. You think so too, right? Wait a minute, you don't know the messiah, do you? Is there any mutant who doesn't know him now? Seeing Su Yao's strange expression, Al frowned. As he spoke, he admired, that is an omega-level mutant, one who can easily destroy a city. He is a god among us mutants. I said, man, as a mutant, how can you not recognize him? You didn't come out of the deep mountains and old forests, right? Listening to his endless chatter and the echoes of the two flashes, Su Yao's expression became even weirder. Ahem, you're right, what could he do, he could only agree. Finally, before parting, the three of them said that if they had no place to go, they could go find them. At the same time, if there is news about the Messiah, I also beg him to tell them, just like a little fanboy or a little fangirl. Su Yao responded vaguely, then shook his head and walked away alone. They separated here, but what happened not long ago did not end so quickly. Things did not simply stop as Su Yao thought. On the contrary, the video footage of his attack was uploaded all over the internet and attracted the attention of many people. Hiss, how can you get rid of so many people so easily? Who is this again? Another powerful mutant. The mutant ability of this weirdo in white looks very powerful. When will the government catch him? We don't want to see another freak who destroyed a city. We must deal with it. Netizens are talking a lot, and everyone is more or less afraid. Especially this mutant who glows red is very powerful, which makes them even more intolerable. In addition to ordinary people noticing Su Yao, mutants also saw this video. Glow red, what kind of ability is this? Telekinesis, telekinesis. In X-Men, Cyclops Scott stared at the scene in the video with confusion in his eyes. Storm Aurora on the side heard this, shook her head and said, No, Scott, please pay attention to the way he condenses red light on his hand and blasts the drone. This is not like pure telekinesis. Professor X Charles nodded, this mutant has other psychic abilities. He pulled the progress bar and pointed at the scene where the man in white controlled four police officers. Are they hallucinating? Cyclops Scott quickly guessed it and couldn't help but comment, he has great potential. Professor X, Storm and others on the side all saw it and agreed with his assessment. I really didn't expect that a similar person with good strength would appear so soon. Although it is not as good as the Omega Mutant Messiah, it is still very good. Judging from his abilities, his potential is extraordinary. I guess we could invite him and make him one of our X-Men. The X-Men proposed, and this was quickly recognized by Professor X, who felt that this person could indeed be recruited into the X-Men. At this time, Wolverine Logan in the crowd suddenly asked, Hey, One-Eyed Dragon, do you have any clues about that little guy Sue? Cyclops Scott glanced at him, No, we're looking. Okay, Wolverine Logan shrugged helplessly. Among the crowd, Chris, who was tall and burly, looked at Professor X and others with hesitation on his face. He was thinking about whether to tell Professor X and others the identity of the child. They were discussing here, and the Brotherhood of Mutants also discovered this new mutant. Pyro, Toad and others looked surprised. Good strength. Magneto King Eric praised. 
Do you want to invite him? Mystique Raven asked. Like the X-Men, they also felt that the man in white was very good in terms of strength and potential. Although he was not as good as the Omega Mutant, he was still very powerful among mutants. Without exception, they also paid attention to this person. If there were any clues about him later, they would definitely send him an invitation to join the Brotherhood and fight against humans together. In addition to ordinary people and mutants noticing Su Yao, several government departments also noticed him. In S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury's one eye flashed, thinking about whether this man could be cleared and whether he could be allowed to join the Avengers team. After a while, he felt a difficulty. This person's identity might be unacceptable to the people. He decided to observe for a while. If this guy with pretty good abilities doesn't have a bad character, then try to clear his name. If he has a bad character, then their laboratory still lacks a lot of experimental subjects. The Hydra organization hidden by S.H.I.E.L.D., also known as the terrorist organization, also noticed Su Yao. It's a very powerful weapon. Pierce prays. Soon, the task of arresting the man in white was arranged. Although the importance of this person in their eyes was lower than that of the mutant messiah, there were still many people sent. In their opinion, this man is also a good brainwashing guy. Even after capturing the brainwashed person, you can try to use this person's psychic ability to control the terrifying mutant messiah. If it succeeds, they will make a lot of money. When the time comes to control the terrifying messiah, who else can resist them? The Snake Shield Bureau is making up its mind. Alessandro, the director of Base 23, is watching the video with Dr. Bolivar. Dr. Bolivar, how is the production of the Sentinel robot going? Base director Alessandro asked. Dr. Bolivar lowered his head and worked in front of the computer for a while and said, more than 400 have been produced so far. So many. Alessandro's eyes lit up and he said with interest, Doctor, tell me, can we kill the Messiah with these sentry robots? Dr. Bolivar was stunned when he heard this, and subconsciously said, it's impossible. With his power to destroy the city, our chances of winning are very small, unless we have more sentry robots. Listening to his analysis, Base Commander Alexandro shook his head. Doctor, have you ever thought that the Messiah might not be as powerful as we think? What's the meaning? Destroying a city is not strong enough. Dr. Bolivar was a little stunned. Base Commander Alessandro explained, Of course, I'm not saying that the Messiah is not strong enough. I want to say that his lasting power may not be as long as we think. After several observations and studies, I found that once the Messiah uses that light that destroys everything, he will definitely retreat. What does this mean? Doctor, I think you should understand. When Dr. Bolivar heard this, he understood everything instantly, his eyes lit up, you mean? Yes, we can send out sentry robots in batches to keep killing that guy. If what you guessed is true, then this must be a very good idea. Dr. Bolivar walked around the laboratory with excitement in his eyes. At this moment, he seemed to have seen the so-called messiah die in the hands of his favorite work, the sentinel robot. Thinking about it, he murmured, there are too few sentry robots now, but we don't have much funding anymore. Alessandro smiled slightly and said, Don't worry, doctor, I think those congressmen will definitely take the initiative to grant us a large amount of funds. There will only be more and more sentinel robots. Dr. Bolivar heard this and agreed with him. As long as they don't want to live in fear of the Messiah, they will definitely try their best to get rid of him. Of course, although he had a solid plan this time, he still had to do something to be more sure. He said, I need you to go to X Academy and help me catch the girl named Anna. She can absorb the abilities and vitality of other mutants through contact and use those abilities. This person has been a great help to me in perfecting the Sentinel robot. With her, we will be more confident in countering the Messiah. Dr. Bolivar looked solemn. Base Commander Alessandro was stunned and nodded. He also noticed some flaws in this generation of sentinel robots. Apart from the ability to change body shape, many abilities cannot be copied. Maybe, with that girl named Anna, everything will change. Then he would like to see how the messiah can resist them. No matter how powerful he is, can he still defeat the countless sentry robots? Your final outcome can only be to become an experimental subject in my laboratory, whether dead or alive. Alessandro smiled. 
In addition to planning to deal with the mutant messiah, the mysterious man in white also attracted their attention. Not long after, at the request of the government department, ten sentry robots from the factory were dispatched to capture the white-clothed mutant. While the major organizations were taking action, Su Yao was hiding and absorbing sunlight, hoping to bring the Scarlet Witch's unlocking progress to 100% as soon as possible. He was somewhat curious and looking forward to what would happen to the Scarlet Witch after reaching 100%. Time passed quickly, and soon it was noon on the fifth day. What's approaching? Su Yao, who sensed danger approaching, couldn't help but look at the panel. Energy points. 79,631. Unlocking progress 70%. Glancing at the energy points, Su Yao thought, I don't know how much progress can be made. The next second, he added all energy points to the unlocking progress. The 70% unlocking progress was blurred and suddenly changed. Unlock progress 100%. Energy point. 1951. Is this 100%? There's still some left. There was a look of surprise in Su Yao's eyes. You know, the last 30% of Orochi took him a lot of time. He thought it would be about 90 or so at most this time, but he didn't expect it to be full. In the next second, he had no time to think anymore, because the changes in his body interrupted his thinking. Warmth flowed throughout his body, and the genes in his body became more and more complex unknowingly. Boom, a red light emerged from around him and spread several meters away. Su Yao's eyes, which turned golden after being exposed to sunlight, gradually turned red. Two dots of scarlet flashed in his pupils. Ability. Chaos Magic, 0 2000ths Level 4. Ability. Modify Probability, 0 1000ths Level 3. Su Yao felt that his whole body was full of power at this moment, and his nerves were extremely active, as if he could do anything. At the same time, he discovered that the ability to modify probability seemed to be more deeply integrated with chaos magic. The modification probability and chaos magic have been upgraded by one level. Su Yao clearly felt that the power contained in chaos magic had increased dramatically. He even suspected that the strength at this moment was very close to that of Avengers 4. Scarlet Witch was in a crazy state and could tear apart Thanos alone without a gem. You must know that that was Thanos. Even if he didn't have gems in hand at the time, it was not something that ordinary people could deal with. He was able to smash Captain America's vibranium shield with a big sword, which shows his strength. And the madman Scarlet Witch almost killed the opponent with her hands. Moreover, Su Yao estimated that the upper limit of chaos magic ability would fluctuate with his emotions, and his estimation of his own strength might be inaccurate. Chaos magic experience plus one. A ball of red light enveloped the ground. With a bang, to Venom's surprise, a large pit of two to three meters appeared, and mud and rocks floated into the air. Su Yao felt extremely relaxed and didn't exert much strength at all. The movement paused for a moment, and he did not continue the test because Venom sensed that danger was approaching. Su, pay attention, Venom said solemnly. Su Yao nodded, and while he was vigilant in the remote alley, he was slightly distracted and focused on his body. The light energy in the body is increasing with the sun's irradiation. He speculated that the light energy at this moment should be able to display the third level ability more than a hundred times, and the fourth level ability could be used about eighty times. Of course, chaos magic is calculated based on duration, which is generally the same. Light energy is still not enough. Su Yao couldn't help but complain. While he was alert to his surroundings, in the distant sky, ten well-armed soldiers, followed by ten sentry robots, were rapidly approaching here. Above their heads, several drones were floating in the sky, and cameras were clearly filming the arrest. Netizens discussed excitedly, ten sentry robots, haha, let's see how that weirdo in white escapes. Dead, after all, he is not the mutant messiah. Another powerful mutant is dying. Netizens were discussing enthusiastically, and the mutants watching the live broadcast were worried and scared. During this time, they privately nicknamed the man in white, White Man. If the man in white died, it would be their turn soon. So while they were worried about the white man, they were also afraid of what would happen to everyone after the white man died. During this battle, the X-Men and the Brotherhood of Mutants were also watching the battle, and they had vaguely anticipated the outcome. No one knows the power of the sentry robot better than them. 
Not everyone is a mutant messiah and can easily eliminate the sentry robot. To normal mutants, the sentinel robot is a monster and a nemesis. Under the worried gazes of hundreds of thousands of spectators, including the X-Men, Brotherhood of Mutants, and Flicker, a mysterious man dressed in white was seen from a distance. Unfortunately, no matter what Flicker and the other mutants thought, they could only watch the sentry robot approach the man in white and then surround and kill him. They could do nothing. As for the audience, they were looking forward to it, wanting to see the sentinel robot to get rid of this powerful mutant who had recently emerged. Soon, the two sides were 10 meters apart, looking at each other from a distance. Su Yao looked at these sentry robots, frowning slightly, feeling a little unsure. Regarding these sentry robots that can fly, change body materials, and emit laser beams from their heads, he is a little unsure whether they can be solved with the current chaos magic. In the distance, ten soldiers stood with guns in hand. They did not choose to approach or attack, but chose to leave everything to the sentry robots and they beat them. The next second, ten sentry robots flew in the direction of Su Yao, and their heads opened and lit up, as if they were preparing to fire lasers. Su Yao frowned slightly and his hands glowed red. Then, he slowly flew up in the eyes of the audience and the mutants. At the same time, a looming red shield appeared around him. Su Yao grabbed one of the sentry robots from the air with his right hand and swung it towards the other sentry robots. With a bang, five of the sentry robots were knocked around and their laser firing was interrupted. As for the remaining four, the lasers on their heads have been fired. At this moment, the audience's eyes showed anticipation. Look how he hides. This is a high-energy laser. This weirdo in white is terrible. However, what surprised and stunned them was that the white man only raised his left hand slightly, red light flashed around him, and the shield seemed to become thicker. Boom, four laser beams hit the red shield. The next second, the shield they thought was broken did not appear. The shield actually blocked the laser attack of the four sentry robots. What, is his ability so strong? Both the hundreds of thousands of spectators and the mutants were all shocked at this moment. They had thought that this white-clothed mutant was pretty strong, but they never thought that he could block four laser beams. If it were a normal mutant, it would probably be cool by now. Su Yao was constantly knocked backwards by the laser shock. Seeing that the energy shield was blocking it and there was no sign of being unable to hold on, he immediately raised his right hand and aimed at a sentry robot at the front. Red light enveloped it. The black sentry robot also reacted quickly and immediately changed its form according to the algorithm. The skin, which looked like fish scales, quickly turned silver, revealing the form of Colossus. In this state, the hardness of its entire body is second only to adamantium, which is also the hardness of Wolverine's metal skeleton. Seeing the sentinel robot transform into this state, the surprised audience couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. It finally changed its appearance. This sentry robot is now invincible. Yes, except for the mutant messiah, I have never seen anyone who can break through its defenses, and this weirdo in white is no exception. I really look forward to seeing how this mutant will be scared to death later, haha. <laughs> While the audience was talking enthusiastically, the X-Men, members of the Brotherhood of Mutants, and many mutants were changing their minds. Su Yao frowned, and while resisting the lasers of other sentry robots, he began to exert force with his right hand. Jump jump jump. Immediately, the body of the silver sentry robot in the distance began to twist, and there was an unpleasant sound of steel turning. Su Yao exerted force with his right hand. Jump jump jump. A scene that shocked countless people appeared. I saw the silver sentry robot, its hands, feet, and head being twisted away by the red light. As the firelight flickered, the sentry robot fell heavily to the ground like scrap metal. Just like, it is not made of steel, but made of wood, and the steel body has almost no hindrance. The audience was dumbfounded and thought they had seen it wrong. This is a body of steel, torn to pieces like this. How powerful is the red light? Impossible. Glancing at the scrapped sentry robot, Su Yao was a little surprised, but not too surprised. His current chaos magic strength is very close to the Scarlet Witch in Avengers 4. The Scarlet Witch of that period, relying on chaos magic, could break Thanos' sword directly. You know, Thanos' sword can smash Captain America's vibranium shield with force. There is no curling edge, which shows how hard the sword is. 
Although the steel state of these sentry robots is hard enough, it is definitely not as strong as Thanos' sword. Although he spent a lot of effort in the process, he finally tore the thing apart. Su Yao frowned slightly and increased the output of chaos magic to resist the lasers from many sentry robots. Glancing at the wall not far away, he raised his right hand and the entire wall collapsed and he pulled it over, then threw it towards the sentry robot. Boom, three sentry robots were collided and buried by the wall, and they couldn't care about this side for the time being. Su Yao focused his attention on the two sentry robots still standing. Red light enveloped them. Under the dull gazes of countless spectators, Su Yao slowly applied force with his right hand. Their hands, feet, and heads were constantly twisted, and then, like the previous sentry robot, they were directly scrapped. Without wasting time, Su Yao withstood the laser and the sentinel robot's spike attack, dismantling the sentinel robots one by one. One, two, ten minutes later, what appeared in everyone's eyes was the sentry robot lying on the ground with missing arms and legs. All gone, the ten terrifying sentry robots were all eliminated in this way. Whether it was hundreds of thousands of spectators or mutants, their faces were all filled with astonishment. This is a sentinel robot, a mere existence that can cause headaches for mutants. As a result, ten bodies were dismantled by this man in white. Besides the mutant messiah, is there anyone else who can take down the sentinel robots? Where did this person come from? Why are there so many powerful mutants everywhere? Do humans really have no chance of winning? Another level 4 mutant. The audience, who had previously gloated about the death of the weirdo in white, did not want to believe what they saw now. X-Men, good guy, looking at the live broadcast, Wolverine Logan praised. Professor X, Charles, Cyclops and others looked at each other in confusion. They found that they had underestimated this sudden mutant. This kind of combat power is inconsistent with their previous evaluation. Definitely a level 4 mutant. Although he is not as good as the Omega Mutant Messiah, he is definitely more powerful and has more potential than they thought. Mutant Brotherhood, another mutant with extraordinary potential. Magneto Eric praised, and was sincerely happy for the emergence of another powerful compatriot. This further proves that humans are the species that need to be eliminated, and only mutants are the future. Thinking of this, he was a little curious, what does this person look like under the cover, is he a middle-aged or elderly person, or a very young man like the messiah? In the luxurious villa, Iron Man Tony Stock, with a solemn expression, was thinking whether he could defeat this guy with his iron armor. After thinking for a while, he realized with some disappointment that he was probably not this guy's opponent at the moment. He decided that when the anti-messiah armor was produced, he would give priority to making the armor against this white-clothed man. In the SHIELD, looking at the live video, Nick Fury, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., had a black one-eyed look of fear and desire. Pierce, a high-ranking member of HYDRA, became more and more interested and more satisfied with this future tool man. While all parties were thinking differently, after Su Yao solved the Sentinel robot, he sensed that there was still a lot of light energy left in his body and looked forward. When the ten soldiers in the distance saw that the sentinel robot had failed, they started to run away without saying a word. They knew that they were definitely not the opponents of the freaks in the distance, and even if they shot, it would be a waste of effort, so they chose to evacuate directly. The next second, red light spread on the ground of the street. Bang bang bang, bricks and soil floated up. Then, they all flew towards the ten soldiers who were fleeing in the distance. Ah, for a moment, the ten soldiers were buried by bricks and soil. Su Yao's hands lit up red, and he was about to fly away. But before he flew away, he noticed something flying above his head. At this time, the surroundings became quiet, and those drones seemed a little conspicuous. Hundreds of thousands of spectators saw in horror that the mysterious man in white seemed to look at them coldly, and then his hands glowed red. There was a sound of breaking through the air, and several chaos magic energy bombs flew over. Boom boom boom. The wreckage of the drone fell from the sky. Su Yao moved, and his pure white figure flew quickly into the distance. After he disappeared for a long time, someone dared to come and clean up the battlefield. While Su Yao was flying, the importance of him by all the major forces increased a lot, and various dark plans were also quietly planned. Su Yao naturally knew this, but there was no way. When he was locked by the sentinel robot, 
he could only destroy those ghosts. Even if there would be greater danger approaching later, that would be a matter for the future. At this moment, Su Yao was feeling himself, and his brows were slightly frowned. At some point, a subtle murmur reached his ears, as if he wanted to talk to him. Su Yao shook his head, and after confirming that it was not an auditory hallucination, his face changed. Fortunately, this strange murmur only lasted for a while and then disappeared. Despite this, Su Yao still thought a lot in an instant, and even had a more reliable guess. God of Black Magic, Ancient God of the Underworld Exosong. His face was a little ugly. A long time ago, he had concerns about improving chaos magic, fearing that he would attract the attention of the God of Black Magic. Unexpectedly, it actually came true. Wanda's chaos magic is inextricably linked to the God of Black Magic. It is rumored that Wanda was influenced by Sithon shortly after she was born, which is why she possessed chaos magic. In other words, the source of chaos magic is actually Sithon, the god of black magic. Of course, what is meant here is not chaos magic that can modify reality after combining with modified probability, but pure chaos magic. This Hades gave Wanda chaos magic, hoping that after the other party grows up, he can use it for him, help him break through the seal of the alien space, and even serve as a carrier of his advent. However, as Wanda grew up, he directly broke away from the other party's control, making his expectations and investment go down the drain. Of course, there is also a saying that chaos magic is innate to Wanda, and Sithon is also interested in chaos magic, so he marked Wanda. Su Yao looked thoughtful, his face turned ugly, the god of black magic, Exasong, is much more terrible than Dormammu. The counterpart of this guy is the trinity of white magic, Vishanti. From here, we can guess the strength of this exosong. So, this guy is targeting me. He just wants to say one thing now. Who knows my family, I was targeted by a perverted and wretched man at the age of 16, waiting for a solution online, urgent. After thinking for a long time, Su Yao could only sigh. In addition to working hard to improve his strength, he couldn't think of any good way. He could only work hard to improve his strength before this exosong used his means, and when he reached a certain level, he might have the power to resist him. Thinking about it, he was also a little speechless, thinking that the pit of chaos magic was a bit big. He could clearly feel that the imitated chaos magic was completely his own, and had nothing to do with the god of black magic, exosong. But even so, he could still attract this guy's attention. In fact, in his eyes, I guess I can attract more attention and importance than Scarlet Witch at this moment. Su Yao thought speechlessly. Half an hour later, his figure stopped in a small forest. Time passed, and soon it was evening. Su Yao raised his head and glanced at the sky in the distance. Seeing the sun completely set, the urgency for strength in his heart made him couldn't help but turn his attention to the new panel. I don't know what the God of Light, Baldur, is like. What will I gain after increasing the unlocking progress? In curiosity and anticipation, he looked at the new ability panel. Name. Su Yao. Age. 16. Remaining lifespan 199 days. Mutant abilities. Imitation. Energy absorption. Current imitation target. Baldur Odinson. Title. God of Light. Son of Odin. Unlock progress 1%. Ability. Unlocked. Energy points. 7963. After taking a look at the remaining lifespan, Su Yao was speechless. This cancer was like a tarsal maggot. He was a little confused. The amount of light energy in his body could not be said to be too much, but it was definitely not too little. How could it not cure a mere cancer? Although it is a combination of several types of cancer, it is too exaggerated. Su Yao was deep in thought when suddenly he remembered something and his expression changed slightly. He vaguely remembered that cancer seemed to be a cosmic disease in Marvel, a disease that was difficult to treat. Maybe I remembered it wrong. The corner of Su Yao's mouth twitched, feeling a little unscientific. After a while, he shook his head and didn't bother to think about it anymore. As long as you keep improving, cancer will one day be cured. His eyes looked elsewhere, except that the unlocking progress is 1%, nothing else can be seen. You need to increase the unlocking progress to see what is special. Glancing at the remaining energy points, he invested 1,200 energy points towards the unlocking progress in the next second. 1% progress is a blur. 
unlocking progress 11%. At the same time, a prompt sounded that surprised Su Yao. Ability. Body of the Gods unlocked. Ability. Divine Body, 0 100ths, level 1. In just a moment, Su Yao felt that his whole body was covered with warmth, and unlike before, this time the change was even greater. The bone density is increasing and the blood is gradually changing, slowly taking on a golden luster and gradually radiating light. The muscles and skin also become firmer, some small defects gradually disappear, and the whole person evolves towards a perfect form. However, I don't know if it's because the body of the god clan is only at the first level. This change has not been completely completed, but only a little. Of course, even so, Su Yao felt that his body was different at this moment. He was energetic and seemed to be able to stay up for a long time. His strength had increased a lot, and he even had some rudimentary muscles on his body. It can be said that he gradually evolved from the fragile human body to the divine body. Ouch, what happened? Venom looked confused and was forced out. I don't know if it was due to erosion, but at this time his dark body was glowing with a faint golden light, which looked a bit funny. Venom swore that he had never seen a guy who could turn him into such a ghostly state. At this moment, he looked suspicious of life. This guy Su is indeed a monster as those humans said, right? He was shocked at Su Yao's changes at this moment, but also full of doubts, not understanding what strange things had happened to him. My body. Su Yao raised his right palm and pinched his left arm. He could feel that the toughness and density of his body had improved a lot. To put it simply, his defense had become much higher. The body of the gods. Su Yao murmured secretly. After testing, he found that although he was only at level 1, his skin's defense was already close to that of a creature like a cow, and his strength was also approaching. To describe it vividly, it is a humanoid beast. It can be said that the divine body makes up for many of his shortcomings. Like before, if he wasn't careful, he might be killed by a bullet. The main focus is on a person with a fragile body. But now, as the body of the gods gradually improves, he can make up for his frail body and become a perfect hexagonal fighter. Um, mage. It's only 11%, but you actually have the body of a god. I don't know what will happen next. Su Yao Yuan looked forward to it. Not to mention other things, the most important divine power will definitely be awakened after this point. Having divine power and not having divine power are two different concepts. I just don't know what percentage it is. Su Yao thought expectantly. Glancing at the remaining energy points, he couldn't wait to join them all. Unlocking progress 34%. For a while, nothing happened. Su Yao was a little disappointed, but he had no choice but to wait until dawn. After that, while running away, he tried to improve the body of the gods. He discovered that by running some newly born power in the body, possibly blood, the experience of the divine body would slowly increase. God's body experience plus one. God's body experience plus one. While hiding, Su Yao also noticed that news about Iron Man Tony Stark was being played in a square. Based on the information, he speculated that it is already after the plot of Iron Man 2. Shaking his head, without thinking much, he concentrated on improving the body of the gods. God's body experience plus one. Ability. Body of the gods 235 five hundredths level two. The next night, when Su Yao was practicing the body of the gods and feeling the changes in his body. On a dark night, in the distant sky, a bright beam of light fell from the sky. It seems like something has descended on the earth. Looking up at this scene from a distance, Su Yao was stunned and muttered to himself, Thunder God. Chapter 91 The sky in the far distance lit up, and a faint beam of colorful light fell from the sky. Looking at this vision, Su Yao was thoughtful. The only thing that can cause such a movement at this time is Asgard's Rainbow Bridge. Asgard's Rainbow Bridge, as a star-destroying weapon, is also an intergalactic teleportation device that can teleport people to any location in the Nine Realms. The Nine Realms, in scientific terms, are nine relatively distant galaxies, and the solar system is one of them. When the Rainbow Bridge transmits people, this light pillar phenomenon will appear. If I'm not mistaken, this should be Thor trespassing on Jotunheim, the country of the ice giants. Su Yao thought thoughtfully, because he almost provoked a war, 
he was deprived of the power of the god of thunder by Odin and was expelled to Midgard, which is now Earth, one of the nine realms. In the final analysis, Odin felt that Thor was too arrogant, arrogant, and only had a desire to conquer in his heart, which was not in line with the king's character and temperament at all. He has high expectations for his son, and wants Thor to become a better person, learn compassion, humility, and have a protective heart. Only when he has these, can he become a qualified king. For this reason, he deprived Thor of his divine power, hoping that he could learn humility on earth as an ordinary person, etc. He even placed a curse on the artifact, Thor's hammer. To put it simply, whoever can lift Mjolnir is qualified to possess the power of Thor. Only when Thor learns those things and becomes worthy of Mjolnir can he pick it up again. Staring at the beam of light in the distance, Su Yao couldn't help but have some thoughts. I have to say that Odin is really cruel to Thor, and that curse is also real. As long as someone can pick it up, they can really have the power of Thor. Even Odin must have never imagined that there is anyone on earth who can lift Mjolnir, right? If I can lift it. Su Yao touched his chin. According to known information, you need to have a kind, pure, and selfless character to lift Mjolnir. Captain America is one, and only this kind of person can lift Thor's hammer. In comparison, even Iron Man, Hawkeye, Hulk Banner, War Machine and others cannot lift it. Although they are heroes and have a righteous heart, their hearts are still not pure and pure enough, and they will never be lifted up. Of course, the above is only revealed in the movie. In fact, from the perspective of the comics, there is only one condition for lifting Thor's hammer, and that is. As long as you are recognized by Thor's hammer, you can use it. That broken hammer has a logical mind, can assess the situation, and recognizes different people in different situations. In times of crisis, he will disregard a certain hero who can become a savior, and directly give them the qualification to pick up Mjolnir. Of course, after this happens, the opponent will still be unable to lift Mjolnir. It can only be said that Mjolnir is snobbish. In addition, people from the Odin family are the easiest people to pick up Thor's hammer. Even if the Odin family has imperfect minds, is arrogant, and arrogant, as long as there are no major deviations in their thinking, they can basically pick up Mjolnir. Su Yao didn't believe that Thor was free from arrogance and arrogance and had a pure heart. Perhaps I can give it a try. Su Yao thought hesitantly. After a while, he decided to give it a try. Anyway, it cost nothing to try. It didn't matter if he failed. If he succeeded, it would be like using the power of the God of Thunder for nothing. Thinking about it, he moved in the dark night sky, his hands glowed with red light, and he quickly flew towards the location of the vision. Far away, a car was driving in an open field. Two young women and an old man with white hair in the car were looking at the scene in the distance in amazement. Originally, they came here to collect weather data, but they didn't expect to see such a scene. The sky was glowing with light, as beautiful as the aurora. A beam of light penetrates the sky and the earth, accompanied by tornadoes, lightning and thunder. At this moment, the three of them were still rushing towards the other side while filming, which perfectly fit the American people's life-threatening character. By the time they reacted, it was already too late. The vehicle was driving in the storm, making them dizzy. Boom. Suddenly, while they were turning the steering wheel anxiously, they saw a figure hit the car window, causing cracks in the window glass. There were screams and exclamations. Fortunately, the storm passed as quickly as it came. After everything calmed down, they hurriedly ran out of the car. A young woman held a flashlight and hurried to the side of the fallen man, get the first aid kit quickly. Don't die, please. Jane looked at the blonde man lying on the ground and shouted hurriedly. Thor, the god of thunder, heard the shouting and opened his eyes to see a woman with a confused look on her face. Seeing that he seemed fine, Jane relaxed, then froze for a moment, stared at the man in confusion, turned to ask her companion, and said, where did he come from? As she said that, she looked around, feeling more and more strange that a strong man suddenly appeared in the wild. Are you okay? Jane asked. Thor ignored her, stood up unsteadily, and called, Hammer, Hammer. He tried to call Mjolnir, but Mjolnir did not respond to him. Daisy shrugged her shoulders and muttered, it seems he drank too much. The three of them were talking to each other, and Thor, the god of thunder, raised his head and called, Heimdall, I know you can hear me, open the rainbow bridge. 
Seeing that the call was ineffective, Thor turned to look at Jane. You, what territory is this? The land of elves, Alfheim. Seeing that he looked crazy, Daisy picked up a stun gun and aimed it at him. Thor looked disdainful, how dare you threaten me Thor? With such a small weapon. As soon as he finished speaking, the stun gun hit him. With the sound of electricity, Thor fell to the ground. Jane and the other two looked at Daisy with their mouths wide open. Daisy hurriedly explained, he almost scared me out of my wits. Jane and the two had no choice but to move the stun Thor to the trunk, ready to take him to the hospital for a checkup. The roar of vehicles sounded and they drove away. Not long after they drove away, a bright light appeared and crashed to the ground, creating a large pit. Looking inside, I can see a flash of lightning. In the lightning is a silver hammer, which is Thor's hammer. The electric light gradually dissipated, and Mjolnir returned to its original appearance, looking as if it was just an ordinary hammer. Less than half an hour later, a figure with red lights on his hand slowly flew closer. Is this Thor's hammer? Su Yao stared at the hammer in the pit in surprise. When Su Yao was observing Thor's hammer, Asgard was on the launch pad of the Rainbow Bridge. A strong man wearing golden armor, holding a golden sword, and with golden eyes seemed to have noticed the strange movement here. The strong man who had been paying attention to Thor, turned his eyes slightly and looked at the location of Thor's hammer. This man is clearly Heimdall, a guy who has always been partial to Thor and has a slight problem with Loki. At the same time, he is also the patron saint of Asgard. His duty is to guard the gate of the Divine Domain and prevent the Divine Domain from being invaded by evil forces. He has an astonishing sense of perception, and his golden eyes can see anywhere in the nine realms and billions of creatures. At this moment, he discovered the Midgardian who was trying to get close to Thor's hammer. Mage, looking at the red hands, Heimdall thought. He felt that this person either accidentally discovered Mjolnir falling and came to check it out, or he was spying on Mjolnir and wanted to lift it to gain power. Thinking about it, he shook his head wearing a golden helmet. Not just anyone can lift Mjolnir. Those who attempt to lift Mjolnir will end up in vain. Not only did he notice this scene, Odin, who had just sent Thor to Midgard, was concerned about Thor's condition and also noticed someone approaching Thor's hammer. He also didn't care, thinking that no Midgardian could lift Mjolnir. Under the attention of both of them, Su Yao slowly fell to the edge of the pit. Looking at Mjolnir in the pit, after hesitating for a moment, he stretched out his right hand towards it. His fingers touched the handle and he held it. Su Yao lifted it up with a little uncertainty. As a result, something unexpected happened. Thor's hammer seemed to be weightless and he lifted it up easily. Boom, the sky immediately became covered with dark clouds, and streaks of thunder flashed. Boom, a thick thunderbolt fell from the sky, struck the Thor's hammer, and then passed along the Thor's hammer to Su Yao's body. But at this moment, not only did he feel no numbness or severe pain, his whole body felt relaxed, as if he was filled with strength in an instant. Thunder flashed on his body, and silver armor appeared layer by layer on his body. It was the suit of the god of thunder. Is this the power of Thor? Su Yao raised Thor's hammer with his right hand, and thunder fell from the sky, accompanied by a strong storm. He waved towards the ground. Boom, a large pit of six to seven meters appeared. Hoo hoo. Su Yao held the leather handle of Thor's hammer with his right hand and turned the hammer like a fan. It's very easy to use, that's all. Rays of thunder flashed around him, making him look like a god of thunder. He expressed his ease by complaining, but Heimdall and Odin, who were looking at him, were completely stunned. A Midgardian actually raised Mjolnir. With a clang, the golden sword in Heimdall's hand fell to the ground. His majestic and silent face could not remain tense, his eyes widened and his mouth opened wide. He wondered if he was dazzled, otherwise how could he see a Midgardian lifting Thor's hammer and gaining the power of Thor? How can it be? This is a curse cast by Odin. Also, this man raised Mjolnir, what should Thor do? On the other side, Odin, who found Thor's hammer being lifted, was shocked and confused, and subconsciously tightened the gun of eternity in his hand. His eyes gradually became sharper, staring closely at the figure flashing with thunder. Like Heimdall, Odin was also thinking, what would Thor do if this man obtained Thor's hammer? His mind was up and down, and he was considering whether to intervene. What's wrong? 
The god queen Frigga on the side couldn't help being frightened when she saw his appearance, and asked hurriedly. Hearing her words, Odin said, the boy Thor is in trouble. Myth Frigga was even more confused. Understanding her confusion, Odin explained, there was a Midgardian who lifted Mjolnir before Thor. A Midgardian, Queen Frigga was also shocked when she heard this. Then she looked anxious and wanted to say something. God King Odin sighed, let's take a look at the situation. It's time for Thor to learn a lesson so that he can change his arrogant character. Although Frigga was still a little anxious, seeing what Odin said, she could only accept the reality and pray silently in her heart. When they were shocked and confused, in the big pit where Thor's hammer fell, Su Yao experienced the power of Thor and suddenly frowned. It was okay when he first experienced it. When the power of Mjolnir entered his body, he felt an unprecedented power. However, this power only lasted for a short while, and he felt that his body was faintly rejecting the power of thunder. It's like a guest bullying the master. A powerful evil guest breaks into the body, making the originally weak master unbearable. He wants to resist but can't. The longer the thunder god state lasts, the heavier this feeling of frustration becomes. In just a moment, Su Yao basically guessed what was going on. It is estimated that the prototype of the divine power carried by the body of the god of light is repelling this powerful power of thunder. And the divine power is too weak, so if you want to resist, you can't. Su Yao could feel that when his body was filled with the power of thunder, it would be difficult for the embryonic divine power to grow. In desperation, he could only temporarily cancel the thunder god state. The crackling thunder gradually subsided, and the surrounding area became quiet. As the power of thunder withdrew, the golden light on his body rose, and then quickly subsided, disappearing in a flash. Asgard, the realm of gods. What is that, Heimdall? who was paying close attention to the Midgardian who raised Mjolnir, noticed this fleeting golden light, and confusion flashed across his face. For some reason, he felt that the golden light had a familiar aura, but when he wanted to examine it carefully, the golden light disappeared again, giving him a headache. Not only him, but Odin, who was sitting on the throne of the God King, also felt the fleeting golden light. Odin shook his head, feeling that his eyesight was dim and that he must have felt wrong. The time is too short, and it is normal for the induction to be wrong. And how could a Midgardian, in the dark night, looking at the Thor's hammer in his hand, Su Yao suddenly felt a little tasteless and it was a pity to abandon it. If you say throw it away, you won't be able to bear it. If you say keep it, it will hinder yourself. After thinking for a while, Su Yao thought, forget it, keep it for now, wait until the God of Thunder summons it back. Of course, he didn't mean to wait for things to develop. After such a long time, it was rare to encounter an interesting thing. It would be good to play with Thor. Thinking about it, with a trying mentality, Su Yao danced the Thor's hammer, then swung it forward, and then made it heavier instantly. With a whoosh, centrifugal force took him flying out. The figure disappeared in a flash, disappeared in the blink of an eye, and even a sonic boom appeared. Feeling the strong wind blowing, Su Yao expressed that he was a little careless. If it hadn't been for the level 2 divine body, which greatly increased the density and defense of his body, ordinary people would probably be out of sorts by now. Looking at his flying figure, Heimdall and Odin in the Asgard domain had strange expressions. Why did this child have a sense of deja vu? Watching him fly, they almost thought they saw Thor. He seems to be very familiar with Thor's hammer. God King Odin wondered. How can a normal Midgardian use Mjolnir so skillfully? As the two of them watched, Su Yao flew in the direction of the God of Thunder. In the process, he changed directions several times before finding the direction the car left. Su Yao saw the car drive to the hospital, and then Thor was carried into the hospital. After a while, a woman named Jane and a woman named Daisy appeared at the front desk. Under the questioning of the hospital nurse, they kept telling Thor's information. I've never seen him before. They recorded information there, and Thor in the ward also woke up from the ward. As soon as he opened his eyes, he saw a middle-aged male doctor with blonde hair. Hey, draw some blood. With that said, the middle-aged doctor was about to take action. When Thor saw this, he immediately became angry and yelled, how dare you attack the son of Odin. He began to struggle to get up from the bed. Someone help me. The middle-aged doctor shouted while suppressing him. 
Several people gathered around, but Thor pushed them away. Quick, find security. Security, please come to emergency room number. 3. Soon, Thor was pressed down by a group of strong bodyguards, but he still shouted, you are no match for me. As a result, he collapsed completely after one shot of injection. This man is crazy. I suspect he smoked. Some doctors complained. The next afternoon, after a lot of confusion, Thor finally understood the basic situation and accepted the reality. At this moment, he was eating in a restaurant with Jane and others. How did you get into the clouds? How can you eat such a big box of egg tarts and still look so hungry? Thor, the god of thunder, was eating and drinking a human drink, and praised, I like this kind of drink. Not bad, right, Daisy smiled, come again. Thor suddenly slammed the cup to the ground, looking like he wanted another cup. Jane and others were shocked and hurriedly apologized to the store owner. After cleaning up, Jane couldn't help but ask, what's wrong? This is delicious, I want to drink it. Thor, the god of thunder, had no idea what was going on and didn't think there was anything wrong with smashing the cup. You need to speak out. I told you, you have to speak carefully and don't throw things. Don't do this next time. As they talk, things are changing dramatically in Asgard. In the Divine Treasure House, Loki was walking cautiously. Loki looked hesitant as he stared at the blue treasures placed on the pillars, which were the ancient winter coffin, the box of ice, and the frost giant's treasure. Not long ago, when he and Thor went to Jotunheim to fight those frost giants, he was accidentally attacked by the frost giants, but found that not only was he not frostbitten, but the skin color of the parts attacked by the cold air had also changed. Become like those frost giants. As the god of trickery, he immediately doubted his identity and suspected that he was a frost giant. So, he came to the treasure house and prepared to find the ice box to verify his identity. Just as he picked up the ice box, a sharp shout sounded from not far away. Lay down, Loki recognized who it was without even turning his head. It was his father, Odin. After a moment of silence, Loki asked, am I cursed? No. What am I? You are my son, Odin said. At this time, Loki put down the ice box and slowly turned around. At this moment, under the influence of the ice box, his entire skin turned blue, and he looked like a frost giant. What else? Loki felt vaguely desperate. He slowly walked towards Odin, sad, desperate and angry. You brought back more than just the treasure box from the Jotun giant village that day, right? Odin, who was wearing yellow clothes and with a big beard, was silent for a while and then spoke. After the war, I went to the temple and found a baby. As he spoke, the surrounding scene seemed to return to the distant past. As a descendant of giants, he was too young. He was abandoned and suffered there, waiting to die. Finally, Odin revealed Loki's true identity, the son of Lafi. Frost giant leader, son of Lafi. Loki opened his mouth to confirm with red eyes, but he didn't hear a negative answer, and he collapsed. Why? Loki gasped sharply, you killed and shed blood in Jodan, why did you save me? You are an innocent child, Odin said. However, Loki didn't believe it at all and said angrily, no, you must have other reasons for bringing me back. What is it? The scene was quiet for a while, then Loki shouted angrily, tell me. Odin had no choice but to say, I thought our two kingdoms could one day merge into one, bring about an alliance, and through you, form a permanent peace. This is also Odin's original intention when he told Loki and Thor when they were young that they were both born to be kings. Originally, he planned to make Loki the king of Jodan and Thor the king of Asgard, hoping that they would become friends forever. But these plans are no longer useful. Later, he really regarded Loki as his son. However, Loki did not listen to what his father Odin said. Loki looked uncomfortable, unwilling to accept this answer. Recalling Odin's behavior of favoring Thor, he became more and more sad and angry. So, I'm just a stolen artifact. Lock me up until you need me one day. He asked. Why are you twisting my meaning? Odin wanted to explain. However, Loki didn't care about him at all and still asked himself, you could have explained my origin to me from the beginning. Now everything is clear. Why have you been partial to Thor all these years? Because no matter how much you claim to love me, you will never let a frost giant sit on the throne of the Ace of Protoss. Loki was approaching step by step, and Odin felt a little uncomfortable. 
He sat down and opened his mouth to say something, but before he could finish speaking, he fell into Odin's sleep. That is to say, when the divine power reaches a certain level, the body will not be able to hold on, and the divine power in the body must be adjusted through deep sleep. The Asgardians get more powerful as they get older, and Odin's power of Odin is so powerful that it has reached the point where it must adjust itself through Odin's sleep at regular intervals. His mood swings were too high just now, and he was forced to enter Odin's sleep. Of course, even if he is asleep, he can still sense his surroundings and even the situation on the earth. Loki was startled, and after observing for a while, he hurriedly shouted, Guards! Guards, come and help! Soon, the door to the treasure house was opened, and two guards in armor hurriedly ran in. Comma, Earth. After eating, Thor walked out of the store, with Jane and the other three chasing after him. Where are you going? Jane asked doubtfully. I'm going to get my stuff, Thor said. Jian and the others were stunned when they heard this, and asked in confusion, what is it? Did you leave anything in that place? Thor nodded, yes, I want to find my hammer. Another hammer. The three of them looked at each other in shock, almost thinking that this guy's illness was not cured yet. What hammer? Jane asked after hesitating. Thor, the god of thunder, walked in front and said truthfully, Mjolnir, my hammer. Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. The three of them looked at each other in confusion, really feeling that this guy was seriously ill. Otherwise, how could you come up with such outrageous things? Just when they couldn't help but want to question, a voice came from not far away. Is this what you're looking for? Thor and the others looked over. I saw a mysterious man dressed in white standing at a fork in the street not far away. And in his hand, he was holding a silver hammer. Su Yao danced the Thor's hammer and looked at the Thor with interest. My Mjolnir. Thor's eyes suddenly showed surprise, and then he was stunned. Why is it here with you? Who are you? Um, Mjolnir, Mjolnir. As soon as he finished speaking, Jane and the others suddenly looked surprised, staring at the hammer curiously. Looking left and right, they really couldn't see anything special about this hammer, it just looked ordinary. However, such a broken hammer is called Thor's hammer. Jane and the other three looked at the two of them with crazy eyes. Who am I? Hearing the question from Thor, the god of thunder, Su Yao started to play around and said slowly, I am the god of thunder. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a roar, the sky immediately darkened, and a thick thunder struck down. Su Yao held Thor's hammer in his hand and wore a dazzling battle suit on his body. Looking at the man in white surrounded by thunder and looking at the two of them with crazy eyes, the eyes of the three people widened in an instant. Oh no, this is impossible. Thor, the god of thunder, opened his mouth wide, and was in a hurry, at a loss, with panic on his face. Mjolnir, he stretched out his hand, as if he wanted to recall Thor's hammer. Unfortunately, no matter how he called, Thor's hammer did not move at all, and it still stayed in that person's hand. The man in white is so majestic, as if he is the real god of thunder. Thor, the god of thunder, had a gray face, like a dog abandoned by his owner. He was as pitiful as he could be. Su Yao, no, do you want this expression? Looking at the man in white on the left and Thor on the right, Jane and the other three were completely shocked. Aren't they mentally ill? With all the lightning and thunder, is that really Thor's hammer? So, what is their identity? Thinking of something, the three of them were slightly shocked. Is there really a god in the world? Therefore, the identities of these two people are. Are they all gods? They were a little dubious and stared at Thor suspiciously. This guy was eating and drinking with them not long ago. He didn't look like a god, just like an ordinary person. How could a god be so weak? On the contrary, the man in white not far away looked more like a god. My Mjolnir, the god of thunder stared blankly at the Thor's hammer in the hand of the man in white. Finally, he looked at the man in white and said with a little pleading, please give it back to me. Su Yao heard this, thought for a moment, and said casually, you can try it. As he spoke, he threw Mjolnir to the ground. With a bang, Mjolnir hit the ground. And as Thor's hammer was released, Su Yao's suit also returned to its original state. Seeing Thor's eyes shining brightly, he excitedly stepped forward to hold Mjolnir. Su Yao said, only a true god of thunder can lift it. Thor, the god of thunder, didn't care. If he wasn't the god of thunder, who was? Thinking about it, 
he leaned down and grabbed Mjolnir, and then with a confident look on his face, he was about to raise Mjolnir. Jane and the other three looked expectantly. As a result, something unexpected happened to the three of them and Thor. No matter how hard he tried, Thor's hammer remained motionless, as if it was welded to the ground. This simply violates the laws of physics. Seeing that Thor's power seemed to be used up, Thor's hammer still didn't move at all, Jane and the others were surprised. No, that's impossible, my Mjolnir, Thor took a few steps back, unwilling to accept this reality. Just as he was retreating, Su Yao raised his right hand, and then the Thor's hammer flew into his hand with a whooshing sound, as if he heard the call. Looking at this scene, Thor, the god of thunder, felt even more collapsed, and felt that his head was green. Midgardian, what have you done? Why doesn't Mjolnir listen to me, but it listens to you? He didn't believe that Mjolnir would not listen to him. The Midgardian must have done something to prevent Mjolnir from sensing his call. However, the Midgardian who heard his words said something that made him stunned. Have you forgotten that you are just a mortal now? Su Yao said. As soon as the words fell, there was a bang, and Thor's head exploded. He instantly remembered something and understood something. He took a few steps back, wondering why Mjolnir wasn't responding to him. He sat on the ground absentmindedly. But as he was lost in thought, he suddenly thought of a question. Since he couldn't even pick it up, why could this Midgardian be able to pick it up? Even, Thor, the god of thunder, had a rare moment of enlightenment, and a question emerged in his mind. Midgardian, how come you know so much about things in the god's realm and what happened to me? Who the hell are you? He looked at the man in white in astonishment, his heart filled with confusion. Su Yao shook his head, as if making a prophecy, and said calmly, you should think about how to deal with Loki's pursuit in the future. After saying that, he turned around and started to leave. Loki, pursuit, Thor, the god of thunder, was stunned when he heard this, grinned, and felt funny. What is this Midgardian talking about, that Loki is going to hunt me down? Funny. It seems that Midgardians are Midgardians after all, so the previous rhetoric must be misleading, right? Thor thought funny ly. Just as he was thinking about it, the Midgardian's voice not far away rang again. Oh, by the way, your three warriors of Asgard and that Sif will come down from Asgard to find you soon. Maybe you can die together. The last voice came slowly, and the man in white disappeared at the end of the street. Thor, the god of thunder, was stunned and didn't believe it at all. When he came to his senses, he found that the man had disappeared. The next second, he felt annoyed. My Mjolnir, just when he regretted not retaining the man in white, Heimdall, standing on the platform of the Rainbow Bridge in the Asgard realm, was startled when he witnessed all this. Naturally, he also heard what the Midgardian said. What stunned him was precisely what he said because he was preparing to summon the three warriors of Asgard and Sif soon. Not long ago, Odin fell into Odin's sleep. Loki delegated the power of the god king and even came to warn him personally, telling him not to open the rainbow bridge without the other party's permission. Heimdall was well aware of Loki's thoughts. When he sensed that the three Asgard warriors and others wanted to disobey Loki's orders and go to Thor, he was ready to call them over to lecture them. In fact, he warned them that after Anjay left after his lecture, he left the golden sword that opened the rainbow bridge behind. Heimdall thought that those people would understand what he meant, and would definitely discover this after he left, and then open the rainbow bridge. In this way, he did not violate the king's order. It was Sif and others who opened the rainbow bridge while he was not paying attention, not him. That's why he was so stunned after hearing what this Midgardian said. If nothing else happens, the three warriors of Asgard will indeed go to Midgard to look for Thor. Is this a prophecy? Thinking of the prophecy, Heimdall looked in disbelief. Even the god King Odin had to sacrifice one eye to gain some prophecy power, and he could not see anything he wanted, and he could see everything clearly. This Midgardian actually has the power of prophecy. This is the power of prophecy, and it is one of the most important powers in any pantheon. Just like the Heavenly Father Zeus in Greece, facing Prometheus who has the power of prophecy, he is fearful and eager at the same time, wanting to know the subsequent prophecies. Of course, although there are predictions, fate is difficult to break, and some things that are destined to happen will eventually happen and will happen. Heimdall didn't know what he thought of, and he looked a little depressed. 
Of course, although fate is difficult to break, prophecy is still an important power. At least if you know you can try to change, you have some opportunities to change your destiny. If you don't know, you really don't have any chance. Thinking about it and looking at the Midgardian, Heimdall's golden eyes couldn't help but become serious. It's not certain yet, but what if this man actually has the power of prophecy? A Midgardian with the power of prophecy. No matter how he thought about it, Heimdall felt incredible. After a while, he decided to observe first to see if things would really happen as the Midgardian said. If it all happens, it proves that the other party is at least half likely to have the power of prophecy. In the palace some distance away from here, the three warriors of a mortal palace were also very anxious at this time. Thor was expelled, the god King Odin fell into Odin's sleep, Loki took power, and forbade them to go to Thor. How could this make them not anxious? Compared to Loki, they think Thor is more suitable to be the king and the king. And Asgard may face war soon, which makes them want Thor to come back even more. Because Thor and Thor broke into Jotunheim last time and angered the Frost Giant, the Frost Giant had vague thoughts of provoking a war. In order to prove that only he is more suitable to be the king, Loki has begun to think about how to perfectly solve the country of Frost Giants. He wanted to prove to Odin that only he, Loki, was more suitable to be the king of Asgard. In the palace, Fandral, one of the three warriors of Asgard, walked anxiously, Volstagg was lying down and overeating, and the other two were silent, not knowing what they were thinking. After a while, while they were talking, they were going to find Thor. Suddenly, a guard wearing armor opened the door of the palace and walked in. The guard spoke, Heimdall needs your presence. After he left, Fandral and others immediately became anxious. Ruined, could it be that Heimdall heard them and wanted to go to Thor against Loki's orders? Even though the three warriors of Asgard and Sif felt uneasy, they had to go. After a while, they appeared at the Rainbow Bridge launch platform, and Heimdall saw them appearing and immediately started questioning them. You actually want to resist Loki, our king. Broken the promise you made as warriors and committed treason to save Thor. There was silence for a while. The goddess Sif admitted, yes. Okay, Heimdall nodded, and then walked outside without saying anything, as if he was angry with them. Will you help us? Sif couldn't help but ask. Heimdall said as he walked, I am loyal to the kingdom and cannot open the bridge for you. After saying that, he walked straight out of here. Seeing him leave, Fandral asked, isn't this guy difficult to deal with? He was thinking about whether he could defeat this guy and force him to open the rainbow bridge. However, as the gatekeeper of the divine realm, Heimdall's combat power cannot be underestimated. Even if the four of them go together, they may not be completely sure. What should we do? Volstagg, a tall and muscular man with red hair and a red beard, asked. Suddenly, Sif patted Fandral and pointed behind her. The four people looked over and saw a golden sword inserted in the center of the hall, where the rainbow bridge opened, and this sword was the key to opening it. White electric lights flashed on the sword, and the rainbow bridge was activated. Exif and the others looked at each other and saw the surprise in each other's eyes. Soon, their figures disappeared here. Loki in the temple naturally noticed the opening of the rainbow bridge and walked straight towards the god's domain treasure house. He used the eternal spear, the scepter of the god king, to release the destroyer armor that guarded the treasure house. It was a black armor that could move on its own, similar to a sentry robot, but it was much scarier than them. The energy beam emitted from the head will turn Asgardians and Frost Giants into ashes instantly if they are shot, even if their skin can withstand bullets. Compared with it, the sentry robot can only be regarded as a child. Don't let my brother come back. Destroy everything. Loki thought about it while giving orders to the destroyer armor. He was also planning to go to Midgard. He was supposed to go there before, but he was delayed for a while because of the frost giant incident. He was going to see his good brother and at the same time see Thor's hammer. He also heard the curse spoken by his father Odin before he threw the hammer. He also wanted to try and see if he could lift Mjolnir. Earth. Boom. A huge beam of light fell from the sky. It was the energy beam from the rainbow bridge. When the light dissipated, the figures of the three warriors of Asgard and the goddess Sif appeared here. The four of them walked towards Thor. Along the way, they attracted a lot of onlookers from passers-by. Is this the Renaissance? Mom, 
These people are dressed so weirdly. The four men wearing battle armor and holding axes, swords, and shields instantly attracted strange looks from a bunch of people. Because strange phenomena often occur, the members of S.H.I.E.L.D. who came here to investigate also noticed the four people walking on the street, but did not pay attention to them. There were many people wearing strange clothes, and they thought that these four people were attending some kind of renaissance carnival. In a store, Thor had just recovered from the disappointment of Thor's hammer abandoning him and was playing with things when he suddenly heard a knock on the glass door. Jane, the three of them, and him all turned their heads and looked over, and suddenly saw four strange people wearing ancient armor. Vostag shouted in a loud voice, found you. They pushed open the glass door and rushed towards Thor, the god of thunder. Thor also looked surprised and hugged them. Jane and the other three looked at them in disbelief. Thor patted Hogan on the shoulder and introduced him immediately, he is my friends. He turned to look at Hogan and the others, and said slightly excitedly, I'm so happy to see you. After saying that, he suddenly thought of something, are you here to take me back? The four of Sif nodded. Thor, the god of thunder, thought of something and said in despair, you shouldn't have come. Why, Sif said excitedly, Thor, do you know how difficult it is for us to come down here? Why don't you want to go back with us? The three warriors of Asgard, Hogan, Fandral, and Volstag, looked at him in astonishment. Thor was silent for a while and said a few words that shocked them. I am no longer the god of thunder. I was deprived of my divine power by my father, and Mjolnir. Thor said in despair, it even abandoned me and recognized a Midgardian as its master. Do you know how easy Mjolnir is in that person's hands? It's like he is the god of thunder and I am a waste. As soon as the words fell, the three warriors of Asgard and Sif opened their mouths with confusion and disbelief on their faces. Thor's hammer recognized a Midgardian as its master. It doesn't obey your orders. How is this possible? Who is that person and why is he recognized by Thor's hammer? A series of questions emerged from their mouths. They were shocked and puzzled. They really couldn't figure out how Quake would recognize a Midgardian. Especially when there is the curse of God King Odin, which is probably designed for Thor's training, but even in this case, can it be lifted by a mortal in Midgard? They are a little skeptical about life. In their eyes, they are gods, and the Midgardians are mortals. A mortal raised a weapon that should belong to a god. Even if this was said by Thor himself, they still didn't believe it. Thor, take us to find that person. He must have used some trick, otherwise how could he be recognized by your hammer? Vostag shouted. Sif and others also nodded, expressing that they wanted to meet the Midgardian who was recognized by Thor's hammer. Maybe they would be able to see something by then and directly see through the Midgardian's trick. Not to mention they were stunned, Loki, the god of conspiracy, who had already quietly come down and was hiding aside, also heard Thor's words. A man from Midgard raised Thor's hammer. Loki expressed disbelief and said secretly, my stupid brother, do you know what you are talking about? At this time, speaking of the Midgardian, Thor suddenly thought of something, and his bearded face gradually became filled with shock. Hey, my friends, do you know what the Midgardian said to me before he left? What did you say? Exif and others were stunned, not understanding what he meant. On the other hand, Jian and the others on the side had their eyes widened, exclaiming in disbelief. Under the confused gazes of Sif and others, Thor, the god of thunder, said slowly, he told me that you will come down from God's domain to find me. Exif and the others didn't react at first, but when they figured it out, they were startled and surprised. A Midgardian actually knew they would come down. At this time, Thor, god of thunder, said in disbelief, he also said earlier that Loki would hunt me down. Exif looked at each other, slightly frightened. Regarding this statement, they did not completely disbelieve it, but were somewhat dubious. Based on what Loki did before, it is really possible that he will hunt down Thor. If what he said is true, how does he know all this, a Midgardian? Fandral and others didn't know how to describe their mood at this moment. As gods, they would one day find a Midgardian mysterious. Forget about them, Loki, who was invisible at the side, suddenly lost his indifferent expression and cracked open. His thoughts were actually predicted. At this moment, he found to his surprise that he actually felt afraid of a person from Zongding. People from the Midgard, who are you? Loki's eyes were solemn. Whether it was for Thor's hammer or these predictions, 
he felt it was necessary to find this person, meet him, and see what he was like and what kind of person he was. A person from Midgard actually knows a lot about Asgard, and can he still tell how things will develop in the future? At this time, look, Jane on the side suddenly pointed outside and exclaimed. Everyone turned to look and saw the clouds forming a whirlpool in the distant sky. There was a bang, as if something was coming. Is there anyone else here? Jane asked doubtfully. Sif and the others looked at each other, hurriedly ran out of the house, and then looked towards the whirlpool. I saw a huge, black and ferocious armored man walking slowly in the wilderness. Thor and others just took a look and immediately recognized what it was. It is the destroyer armor, specially made by the god King Odin, and is prepared to be used against the universe god group. Hey brother, that person really got it right, Volstagg said in shock. Needless to say, the only one in Asgard who can wield the destroyer armor is Loki. And the destroyer armor appears here, its purpose is self-evident. Both predictions came true. A Midgardian, if this isn't a coincidence. Thor and others looked at each other, and they didn't know how to describe their mood at this moment. The man became more and more mysterious in their hearts. Both they, who were from Asgard, and Dr. Jane, who believed in science, were all frightened at this moment. They feel that their outlook on life has been refreshed. At this moment, the destroyer armor walked towards where Thor and others were, destroying everything in sight along the way. Boom, the yellow energy beam shot out from its head, even if it only shot out for a moment, it caused a violent explosion whether it hit vehicles or buildings. Flames spread across the streets, leaving ruins as far as the eye could see. Looking at this terrible scene, Thor and the others in the distance had ugly expressions. Jane, you must leave here, Thor said solemnly. What should I do? Jian asked in astonishment. Thor said, stay. The bearded Volstag said quickly, Thor, fight with us. The god of thunder walked up to Fandral and the others, my friends, I am only a mortal now, and I may drag you to your death. After thinking for a moment, he said, but I can send these people to safety. In order to find something to do for himself, he pointed at the passers-by who had not yet reacted. Soon, they dispersed and dispersed those who didn't know what was going on. In a restaurant, danger is approaching. Everyone, get out and run. We will eat later. Boom. While Thor and others drove away the outsiders, the destroyer armor continued to blow up vehicles and houses. Valkyrie Sif and the three warriors of Asgard walked towards the destroyer armor in the middle of the street, preparing to delay Thor and others for a while. Distract his attention, Valkyrie Sif said. As she spoke, she hid quietly. The three Fandrils looked at each other, and then Vostag took a running start. With the help of Fandril and the other two, he leapt towards the destroyer armor. For the Asa realm, Vostag raised his battle axe high in the air, about to strike at the black destroyer armor. As a result, before he could hit the destroyer armor, he was knocked away by the opponent's fist. Boom, he hit a car so hard that it was dented. The destroyer armor slowly walked to Volstag, who was unable to get up. His body lit up with yellow light, and he was about to fire an energy beam from his head to send this guy, one of the three warriors of Asgard, to death. At this time, Valkyrie Sif jumped down from the house above them, pointing the spear in her hand at the neck of the destroyer armor. With a swipe, the spear passed through the neck of the destroyer armor. The destroyer stalled, however, just when Volstag breathed a sigh of relief and Sif's face showed pride and pride, the destroyer's armor lit up with yellow light again. There was a sound of metal twisting. Its body twisted and deformed at will, and soon changed its direction from facing away from Sif to facing her directly. Seeing that it was about to fire an energy beam, Sif was so frightened that she let go of her hand and fell to the ground. Retreat. Seeing how perverted this guy was, Valkyrie Sif was frightened, and after shouting and greeting, she hurriedly ran away. Vostag and others also began to evacuate. Behind them, the energy beam of the destroyer armor continued to attack them, and there were bursts of explosions along the way. Boom, an energy beam shot at their feet, and the soil flew up, like a powerful grenade, and the huge impact blew them away in an instant. Run, Thor, the god of thunder, greeted Jane and others who were still here. Seeing Jane and the others leaving, Thor hurriedly ran over and supported the seriously injured Sif. Seeing that she wanted to get up, Thor held her shoulders and said, Sif, you did your best. He didn't want Sif and the others to continue to die. 
However, Sif shook her head and looked at Thor, not wanting to abandon him and said solemnly, No, I want to die like a warrior, and today's story will definitely be told. Seeing that she wanted to die, Thor advised her, Stay alive and tell stories to the children yourself. Sif had no choice but to agree. As soon as Sif left, an energy beam shot over and blew up a car. Thor hurriedly fell down. He quickly stood up and ran to the side of Fandral and the other three. As if giving his last words, he said to the three warriors of Asgard, you must return to the Asa realm to stop Loki. After he finished speaking, Fandral looked at him in astonishment, what about you? Thor forced a smile and said, don't worry, friends, I have a solution. Fandral and Hogan heard what he said and ran away with the seriously injured Volstag. Watching them disappear, the grin on Thor's face disappeared. He glanced at the burning neighborhood and the destroyer armor that was still destroying everything in the distance. Thor understands something. He also knew very well that facing the destroyer armor, no one here could be its opponent, including Sif and others. And if he doesn't stay, then the destroyer armor will definitely not give up and will continue to hurt other people. He didn't want Sif to wait for others to die, so he could only. When Volstag and others fled here, Thor walked towards the destroyer armor step by step. In the distance, Jian and others who occasionally took the time to look at him were stunned. What is he doing? Jane murmured, noticing his approach, the destroyer armor controlled by Loki stopped attacking for the time being and looked at him quietly. As Thor walked away, he said sadly, Brother, no matter how I offended you or what I did to make you hate me so much, I really ask you to forgive me. Those people are innocent and taking their lives does you no good. As he approached, the destroyer armor emitted yellow light all over its body, and its head seemed to be about to release an energy beam when it opened. Seeing this scene, Thor murmured, kill me and end this. Hearing what he said, the destroyer armor stopped releasing the beam, as if Loki hesitated. Thor, God of Thunder, couldn't help but smile when he saw this. As if because of his smile, the destroyer armor turned around and punched him in the face as soon as he took two steps back. Well, Thor flew backwards. Jian and others in the distance were shocked when they saw this. No, Jane ran over and helped Thor who was lying on the ground dying. It's all over, Thor said weakly. It's not over yet. Jane shook her head. Thor, the God of Thunder, forced a smile and said, but at least you are safe. It's all over. As he spoke, he closed his eyes and seemed to die. The destroyer armor slowly turned and left. Jane and others looked sad. In the distance, the shield agents who came here to investigate everything were shocked and took pictures of what happened here. Asgard, Odin, who fell into Odin's sleep, seemed to sense all this, and a tear fell from the corner of his closed eyes. Just when everyone thought it was all over, a white figure covered in electric light came out from the corner of the street. He is, Valkyrie Sif and the other four Asgardians were startled. Jian was stunned and murmured, it's him, the one who lifted Mjolnir. Hearing her words, Valkyrie Sif and others couldn't help but look at his right hand, which held a silver hammer, which was indeed Thor's hammer. And it can be seen from the thunder and lightning surrounding the opponent's body that the opponent has indeed been recognized by Thor's hammer, rather than using some conspiracy. Valkyrie and the others looked surprised, feeling incredible in their hearts. Why does Thor's hammer recognize this Midgardian? And look at his posture, he looks more like Thor than Thor. So what Thor said was true. Especially since the other party predicted things about their Asgard twice, they were full of mystery. Who is he? Loki, who was watching from a distance, was also puzzled. A person from the middle court, why? In the distance, several shield agents immediately recognized who they were. It's the wanted criminal. Apparently they recognized each other. What's his purpose here? And the hammer in his hand is. Just when they were surprised, Su Yao shook his head and let go of the hammer in his hand that was about to return to Thor. With a whoosh, the hammer in his hand flew to the hand of Thor, the god of thunder, who was lying dead in an instant. The sky was covered with dark clouds, and a bolt of thunder fell from the sky and hit Thor, the god of thunder. Layers of silver armor were draped on his body, and Thor, the god of thunder, woke up instantly, regaining his power in a flash of lightning. At the same time, as the power of Thor's hammer disappeared, the prototype of the divine power that had been suppressed in Su Yao's body rebounded instantly. 
In an instant, golden light flashed on his body. Valkyrie and the others, whose attention was originally attracted by Thor, were stunned for a moment and looked at the mysterious man in white. As this divine power, Sif and the other Asgardians, including Thor and Loki who were smiling, were all stunned at this moment. They wondered if their perception was wrong. Otherwise, how could they perceive divine power from a Midgardian? Although it is only a prototype and has not yet fully awakened, it is also divine power, the power of the gods. In particular, they felt that this divine power was somewhat familiar. It seemed to belong to their Asgardian family, and it was probably from the royal family. Because generally speaking, only the Odin royal family has this power. It is called the power of Odin in Odin, and it is called the power of Thunder in Thor. Although Thor has not yet fully awakened, he is still just a hammer god. The golden light did not last long and quickly disappeared, but Sif and others still did not come back to their senses. Not only them, Heimdall, who was punished by Loki for letting people go without permission, heard and saw all this even though he was frozen on the platform of Asgard's Rainbow Bridge. At this moment, shock flashed across his golden eyes. In the palace of the God King. God King Odin, who fell into Odin's sleep, also sensed all this, and only one thought flashed through his mind. Impossible, Earth, how can it be? Valkyrie Sif and others suspected that their perception was wrong. Otherwise, how could it be so outrageous to sense the aura of divine power from this man in white? Who is he? This question emerged deeply from their hearts. Jian and other ordinary people were a little confused. Seeing their stunned looks, they couldn't help but ask, what's wrong? Sif on the side replied, we sense divine power from this man in white. Dr. Jian and others were shocked. You mean, this man is also a god? They looked surprised. While they were stunned, the destroyer armor suddenly glowed with yellow light, its head opened, and it seemed that it was preparing to fire an energy beam. And judging from the direction it was aimed at, it was probably on the man in white. Not good. Thor and others were shocked. This is the energy beam of the destroyer armor. Whether you are a Midgardian or an Asgardian, you will be finished if you take one shot. It's too late to stop it. Ruined. Fandral and others seemed to see the man in white being hit by an energy beam in the next second and then turned into ashes. Thor, god of thunder, Heimdall, and Odin from the god realm subconsciously tightened their hearts and wanted to prevent this scene from happening, but they had no choice but to watch the tragedy happen. Boom. The next moment, an extremely thick yellow energy column emitting violent energy fluctuations broke through the air and shot towards the man in white in the distance. It's over. However, just when they thought it was bad, Su Yao's raised right hand moved slightly, a red light flashed, and a red light shield blocked his body. Chaos Magic Experience Plus One The next second, the energy beam of the destroyer armor came into contact with the shield of Chaos Magic. Boom! There was a violent explosion, huge waves of fire and hot wind sweeping across. That strange red shield actually blocked the energy beam of the destroyer armor. The energy beam continued to shoot, and the aftermath continued to spread and impact next to the red shield, forming a scene of destruction. Su Yao frowned. If he hadn't used chaos magic to exert force in the dark to offset the impact, he might have been knocked upside down by the energy beam at this moment. But even so, he can hardly withstand the energy beam of this destroyer armor now. It can only be said that it is a destroyer armor, much more difficult to deal with than the sentinel robot. After thinking about it, the next second, his hands flashed red, his left hand blocked the energy beam, and his right hand secretly exerted force towards the destroyer armor in the distance. In the eyes of Jane, Thor and others, it was the man in white who used a strange red shield to block the energy beam of the destroyer armor. Thor and others were shocked. Then, they saw the man in white just move his right hand, and then the destroyer armor in the distance instantly flew out of control towards the house on the right. Boom! The house was smashed into a big hole. Looking at the man in white who waved his hand and seemed to have the upper hand, Valkyrie Sif and others opened their mouths wide. This is the destroyer armor. The Asgardians they were fighting before were in such a state of disarray that they could only avoid their sharp edges, but they were actually blocked by a person and knocked away from the front. What an incredible thing. There was a sound of metal collision, and the destroyer armor stood up from the ruins, completely unscathed. Su Yao frowned, his hands glowed with red light, and chaotic magic energy began to condense. Chaos Magic Experience Plus One 
he flicked his hand, and bullets of chaotic magic energy flew over. Boom boom boom. Sif and others were stunned to see energy bombs continuously bombarding the destroyer armor, knocking it around. For a moment, the destroyer armor was completely suppressed. While they were shocked, Su Yao frowned. Because he found that chaos magic couldn't do anything to the opponent. Even if the opponent was suppressed for a while and staggered around, it almost didn't hurt the opponent. This material is so durable. Not only is the material hard, but it also has a magic immunity effect, causing the chaos magic to not have the greatest effect. Su Yao felt that the normal chaos magic was still a bit weak. Maybe it would be different at level 5, but it really wouldn't work at level 4. His right hand flashed with red light, and the red light spread to the destroyer armor. Su Yao secretly used his strength to control and fix it for a while, then turned to look at Thor, the god of thunder. The shocked Thor quickly came to his senses, spun Mjolnir and flew into the sky. In an instant, the sky was filled with lightning and thunder. Thor spun Mjolnir, and a huge tornado formed in the sky. Finally, he jumped down holding Mjolnir. Boom! Thor's hammer hit the destroyer armor's head at an extremely fast speed. Boom! A burst of light flashed, covering everything. Then, the energy aftermath of the destruction of the destroyer armor continued to spread. Houses collapsed one after another, and the windows of each house were broken one after another. Fortunately, at the critical moment, Valkyrie Sif and others saw that something was not going well, and had already taken Jane and the others to escape, otherwise they would all have been seriously injured. Ah, on the other hand, the shield agents who were watching from a distance were so shocked that they did not realize this, and were instantly hit by the energy aftermath and flew up. Soon, they fell to the ground and could not get up. Su Yao frowned and used chaos magic to block him. After the choking smoke dissipated, he glanced at the almost scrapped destroyer armor that fell to the ground and shook his head. These two guys, Loki and Thor, really wasted their resources and scrapped such a divine artifact. Although the destroyer armor didn't seem to perform very well just now, it was actually made by Odin to fight against the Celestials, and each of the Celestials is a true god and can truly explode stars. The destroyer armor needs to be worn on the body in order to have the greatest effect, rather than being like a robot and letting it function freely. Su Yao couldn't help but sigh, the upstart of the Asgardian Protoss was acting like a rich man. At this time, Thor, the god of thunder, who had solved the destroyer armor, strode over. Walking up to him, Thor, the god of thunder, looked at him blankly and asked in shock, the power of Asgard, who are you? Are you from Asgard? Thor asked in disbelief. Facing his inquiry, Su Yao glanced at him and said casually, you think too much. However, after listening to his words, not only Thor, the god of thunder, did not believe it, but even the Valkyrie Sif and others who came closer did not believe it. Even Loki hiding in the dark, including Heimdall of Asgard and God King Odin, also did not believe it. They all felt that this mysterious man in white must have a deep connection with Asgard. As for his current rhetoric, it is just a cover-up. After all, the evidence was right in front of them before. Looking at the expressions of curiosity, doubt and inquiry on their faces, the corner of Su Yao's mouth twitched. Afterwards, he didn't bother to pay attention to them. He took one last look at Thor's hammer, feeling a little pity, and prepared to leave. Seeing his actions, Thor, the god of thunder, quickly chased after him and said, You are definitely not a fragile Midgardian. You must be an Asgardian. Please tell me your identity. What kind of god are you? Suddenly, he asked in surprise, could it be that you are my father's illegitimate son? The speaker was unintentional, but the listener was intentional. Thor, the god of thunder, just said it casually. Valkyrie Sif and others on the side immediately looked at each other, their eyes full of surprise and uncertainty. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Otherwise, how to explain the aura of divine power on this man in white? They thought hesitantly. Loki's eyes widened in the dark, and he immediately stared at Su Yao with a sharp gaze, his eyes complex and unspeakable. Asgard. At this moment, Heimdall, even though he was still frozen, couldn't help but feel shocked when he heard these words. He was in a daze. In this case, it makes sense. At this moment, Odin, who fell into Odin's sleep, couldn't help but have a little doubt after hearing Thor's words, even though he knew that there was no such possibility. 
This man in white actually behaves a bit like. Doubts arose in Odin's mind. Earth. Su Yao was speechless as Thor, the god of thunder, spoke more and more outrageously. Shaking his head, his hands glowed red, soared into the sky, and flew quickly towards the distance. Who exactly are you? Seeing him flying away, the doubts in Thor's heart became more and more serious. If it weren't for Sif and others around him, he still had things to deal with, and he might have chased after him directly. He swore that he would find out this person's identity later. Thor, are you just going to let him go? This man in white is suspected of being an Asgardian, and he may even prophesy. The Valkyrie who walked over said doubtfully. There will be a chance. Thor said, looking at them. While they were talking, Loki, who was hiding in the dark, had already quietly left here. He returned to the Asgard domain, and according to his previous plan, he opened the rainbow bridge with the Eternal Spear, the scepter of the God King, and released the Frost Chief and others into Asgard. Welcome to the Divine Realm, Loki said. Laufey, who has dark blue skin and red eyes, has a look of satisfaction on his face. Then, they walked towards Odin's chamber, preparing to help Loki kill Odin as planned. However, what happened next was beyond his expectation. He came to Odin's chamber, fought off the guarding Frigga, and spoke proudly to Odin, who was sleeping on the bed. It is said that when you fall into Odin's sleep, you can hear and see what is happening around you. I hope this is true. The frost giant leader showed a proud look on his face, and an ice blade instantly formed in his right hand. That way you will know that I am the one who killed you, La Fee. With that said, he was about to raise the ice blade in his hand and end Odin's life. However, before he could swing the ice blade, the sound of a beam of light came from behind him. It is the sound of the Eternal Spear, the artifact of God King Odin. With a roar and Lao Fei's scream, the whole person was hit by the yellow beam and flew far away. He was seriously injured and could no longer move. And the man who killed you is the son of Odin. Looking at him lying on the ground, Loki, who was wearing armor, said coldly. As he spoke, he raised the Eternal Spear again without mercy. Lafi looked at him in disbelief. Before he could expose Loki, Loki began to kill and silence him. A yellow beam shot out from the eternal spear. The moment it hit Lafi, his physical fitness was even more amazing than that of Captain America. In an instant, he turned into a bunch of light particles and scattered on the ground, and the whole person disappeared completely. Frigga, who was lying on the ground not far away, saw this and stood up happily. Loki, you saved your father. She walked over to Loki and hugged him excitedly. Just when they were in a good mood, Heimdall forcefully broke free from the ice after being called by Thor, and then opened the rainbow bridge and teleported them back to Asgard. As soon as Thor came here, he saw the scene not long ago. At this time, I swear to you, mother, I will make them pay for what happened today. Loki swore. Seeing this, Thor came out and shouted, Loki. Frigga said happily, Thor, I knew you would come back. After the hug, Thor walked towards Loki step by step, why don't you tell your mother how you sent the destroyer to kill me and my friends? What? Frigga was shocked, I'm just carrying out my father's last order. Loki stepped back step by step. Thor said in disbelief, you are really a genius who lies all the time. Loki was a little panicked, but he forced himself to calm down and said, it's good if you come back. If I'm sorry, I'm going to destroy Jotunheim. As soon as he finished speaking, he directly used the Eternal Spear to knock Thor out of the temple. While he was falling out, Loki hurried to the Bifrost launch pad. With the activation of the Eternal Spear, the Rainbow Bridge fired an astonishing energy beam, hitting the distant Jotunheim, the country of the Frost Giants. Under the huge energy of the Rainbow Bridge, the ground of Jotunheim began to collapse, and the Frost Giants ran around in panic, with screams everywhere. Shortly after activating the Rainbow Bridge, Thor hurried over. You can't stop it, the Rainbow Bridge will split Jotunheim in two. Loki said solemnly. Thor, the god of thunder, wanted to step forward to stop him, but was easily knocked away by the Spear of Eternity. Thor demanded, why did you do this? Loki opened his hands and said like a child, I want to prove to my father that I am worthy of being his son. When he wakes up, he will know that I saved him, that I killed that monster race, and that I am the real heir to the throne. Thor said angrily, you can't exterminate an entire race. Hearing his words, 
Loki felt incredible, why not? When did you change? Have you forgotten why my father expelled you? When you broke into Jochenheim without permission, you wanted to destroy them all. Why did you start showing mercy to the frost giants? Thor, the god of thunder, was silent for a moment and said, I have changed. I've changed too. Loki hit him in the face with the handle of the eternal spear. Seeing that he didn't fight back, Loki said angrily, you fight back. As he spoke, he knocked Thor away, and Thor slid on the ground for a long distance. Loki's eyes turned red, I have never cared about the throne, I just want to compete fairly with you. As he said this, he felt very sad in his heart, and the image of Odin favoring Thor kept flashing through his mind, and he was very unwilling to do so. Why did his father choose to give him the throne without considering him? He just wanted fair competition. I don't want to fight with you, brother. Thor shouted angrily. Loki heard this and said unwillingly, I'm not your brother, never have been. Brother, don't go crazy. Thor didn't understand why Loki became like this. Why would you say such a thing? Obviously, he didn't know the truth about Loki's life experience. Seeing that he didn't resist, Loki became even more angry, with tears in his eyes, you say I'm crazy. Really, really. Why did you become so weak after a trip to Earth? As he said that, Loki thought of Jane, isn't it because of the woman? Well, after I finish you, I will go and meet her in person. Loki sneered, and the two started fighting. Even though Thor was very strong, with Loki holding the Spear of Eternity, there was really nothing he could do against him for a while. Fortunately, he took the time to find a flaw. Thor knocked Loki away, causing him to fall under the Rainbow Bridge. Loki held onto the edge of the Rainbow Bridge with both hands to keep from falling. Help me, Loki shouted. Thor walked up to him and squatted down helplessly, ready to catch him. But before he could touch Loki, he turned into an illusion and disappeared. The real Loki appeared behind him and knocked him down instantly. Ha ha ha, Loki's phantoms appeared one after another and laughed wildly, seemingly making fun of him. Enough, thundered Thor. A thick thunderbolt struck down, instantly shattering the illusions and knocking down Loki's true body. Thor put Mjolnir on his chest, and Loki couldn't move at all because he couldn't lift Mjolnir. Seeing that the Rainbow Bridge was activating and would soon destroy Jotunheim, Loki laughed at his powerlessness and said that he could not stop it. However, something unexpected happened to Loki. Thor raised Thor's hammer and began to destroy the Rainbow Bridge. Are you crazy? Destroy it, and you will never be able to go to Earth again or see the person you like. Thor ignored him and concentrated on destroying the Bifrost. Finally, the Rainbow Bridge broke, an explosion sounded, and huge energy fluctuations were set off, sending the two of them flying away. Seeing that they were about to fall into the cosmic abyss that appeared after the destruction of the Rainbow Bridge, God King Odin appeared in time to catch Thor, while Loki caught Thor. God King Odin stood on the bridge, and Loki and the two were swaying in the wind under the bridge, as if they could fall down at any time. Seeing Odin appear, Loki was a little happy, and shouted as if to show off, I almost succeeded, father, and almost destroyed them, for you, for everyone. However, after hearing this, God King Odin did not praise him, but retorted, no, Loki. Loki's expression gradually solidified, he couldn't believe it, and he slowly let go of his hand as his heart turned gray. Loki, no, Thor shouted, but no matter how he shouted, Loki still let go of his hand. He was heartbroken and wanted to die, and chose to fall into the abyss of the universe. If you fall into the abyss of the universe, you are basically certain to die. No one can survive. No, Thor yelled in collapse. God King Odin felt regretful, no. In the end, Loki was sucked into the abyss of the universe and disappeared. When he woke up, what he saw was Thanos who was trying to collect the infinite stones and preparing to invade the Earth. Comma, Earth. Although Su Yao flew away from the fighting site, the impact has not disappeared. The impact of this incident was not small, and some information quickly appeared on the internet, attracting the attention of many netizens. The S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who were seriously injured were also rescued, and the information related to this battle was sent to Nick Fury, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. 2. What's wrong? Noticing what he was looking at, Nick Fury had a look of shock on his face, and Agent Coulson of S.H.I.E.L.D. looked confused. Coulson, tell me, is there a god in this world? Nick Fury, 
dressed in black, asked. When the middle-aged man Coulson heard this, he was surprised and said, too, of course there is no such thing anymore, they are just ancient people. However, before he finished speaking, Nick Fury showed him the video in his hand and introduced it. As he watched, Coulson couldn't help but have a look of surprise on his face. According to the information collected by the agents, these people are likely to be gods in Norse mythology. This is Thor, the god of thunder, and this is. Nick Fury introduced them one by one solemnly. Coulson recovered from the shock and couldn't help but said, Head, is it possible that they are a group of aliens? No matter how you look at it, these so-called gods don't seem to be as scary as the myths and legends say. Nick Fury glanced at him with his black one eye and said, Irrespective of whether they are gods or not, even if they are aliens, their civilization must be more advanced than ours. We cannot be careless. Coulson nodded. Finally, Nick Fury stared at a white figure in the video with serious eyes. This guy in white, according to the intelligence, is also suspected to be a god, he said. Coulson asked in surprise, isn't he a mutant? I don't know, we still need to collect information. Nick Fury shook his head, and then said, the agency's plan against this person is temporarily shelved. We will wait until the specific information about this person comes out, and we will proceed. Coulson nodded. SHIELD has temporarily put aside its plan against Su Yao, but there are other organizations preparing to carry out it. Experimental Base No. 23. In each cell, a group of prisoners were discussing. What do you think the base did to take away number 35 some time ago? A black man yelled from inside the cell. As soon as he finished speaking, voices came from the cell not far away. If I remember correctly, the mutant ability of guy number 35 is very ordinary, right? It seems to reduce the sense of presence, making it difficult for people to be vigilant. As soon as he finished speaking, a well-informed white man sneered, what do you know? This guy's abilities are not that simple. Even though he is only number 35, he is very difficult for some people, just like the number 37 who escaped. Many prisoners were surprised. Oh, how to say? Bricken, a strong white man, gloated, the ability of guy number 35 can not only reduce his own sense of existence, but also make some keen guys lose their sense of crisis. To put it bluntly, if you meet him, other people's sense of crisis will not take effect. Bricken thought thoughtfully and guessed, I guess the base thinks that number 37 is so difficult to deal with, and it may have something to do with his sense of crisis. They want to use No 35's ability to see if they can block No 37's sense of crisis and then kill him quietly. Upon hearing his analysis, many prisoners' eyes lit up and they all felt that his analysis was correct. If it's true, then number 37 will be in trouble. Reliance too much on the sense of crisis will make people lose their vigilance. After talking about this, they talked about other things. Hey, I heard that a powerful mutant has appeared recently. I don't know when that person will come in to accompany us. It's coming soon. With such arrogance, except for the Messiah who can barely escape, the others will be caught sooner or later. Even the Messiah, how long can he survive being captured again and again? That's true. The prisoners burst into gloating laughter and urgently needed new prisoners to come in and accompany them. In the laboratory some distance away from here, they really guessed what happened. The base was indeed preparing to use the ability of number 35 to try to sneak attack number 37. After this period of research, they have almost finished studying the gene of no. 35. In the laboratory, Dr. Bolivar, how's the research going? Alessandro, the base commander of base 23, turned to look at Dr. Bolivar, who was short and wearing a white coat. That's almost it. With the characteristics of the sentry robot, it will soon have this ability. However, it is a bit difficult to manufacture the relevant equipment. Dr. Bolivar said without looking back as he studied something. We can find a few killers and let number 35 lead people to kill the guy in white. Although this person is not as good as Messiah, his strength is not bad. Testing the effect in advance can also avoid accidents when attacking Messiah. When the base director Alessandro heard this, a look of approval appeared on his face. Indeed, the sneak attack on Messiah number 37 requires long-term planning, but there is still no pressure to sneak attack on the guy who has recently appeared. Moreover, the opponent has psychic abilities and may also have the ability to sense danger. 
it is just right to try out the effect of ability number 35 to avoid making mistakes when dealing with the Messiah. At this time, he thought of something and asked, Dr. Bolivar, how is the research on that naughty Rikshasa girl? Dr. Bolivar thought for a while and said, it's okay, it just takes a while. We are already studying the use of sentry robots to copy her abilities. At that time, as long as her ability data is uploaded to the big database, other sentry robots that are out will be able to use Anna's abilities. And I'm still trying to improve it so that the sentinel robot can absorb and copy the ability to other mutants within a certain range without the need for skin contact. Hearing Dr. Bolivar's words, Alessandro's eyes showed shock. No one knows what this means better than him. From now on, the copying ability of the sentry robot will no longer be restricted, and some abilities that cannot be copied will be able to be copied. For example, Magneto Eric's ability, or even Messiah's abnormal ability. By then, who can stop the sentinel robot? At this moment, he is no longer worried about the Messiah, because in his opinion, the Messiah will definitely be caught, or even die under the siege of the sentry robots. What he is worried about now is whether the sentinel robot will lose control one day. I must be worrying too much. How could the sentry robot lose control? Alessandro thought comfortingly. After talking to Dr. Bolivar, the task of assassinating the man in white, also known as the man in white among the mutant population, was quickly arranged. Soon, a $4 million reward was posted on the dark web. It didn't take long for this bounty to attract the attention of many people, including the top 10 killers in the world. If we want to talk about who is the most famous in the dark web during this period, it is of course the Messiah. With a reward of 370 million US dollars for his assassination, he ranks first. Unfortunately, the whereabouts of the guy named Messiah is a mystery, and no one can find him, so there is no need to assassinate him. The appearance of this mutant bounty list called White Man immediately attracted the attention of many people. After all, both of them were mutants, which gave them a place to spread their anger even if they could not find the Messiah. Soon, the reward list worth 4 million US dollars was taken by the world's 10th ranked killer, which made a group of people secretly say it was a pity. TCH, that's really unlucky. Why did this guy ranked 10th come out to join in the fun? It seems that we have no share in the bounty. Although, it's not like they can't take action. As long as they intercept the man in white, the effective time of the mission has passed, and the bounty is placed on it again, they can collect the bounty. However, they don't want to offend a guy who is ranked 10th. To be ranked 10th in the world is definitely an extraordinary ability. Not only were they superior in strength, weapons and equipment, but their connections were also superior. They didn't want to be investigated and die tragically in their sleep one day. Moreover, this also means that the other party's mission has almost never failed. One can only imagine how miserable this man in white will be in the future. If they were the man in white, they would have prepared their last words and wills early, prepared a coffin for themselves, and arranged for someone to collect the body. After all, it would be too tragic if no one collected the body after death. While discussing on the dark web and waiting for the news of the successful assassination to come, Masao Yamazaki, the 10th ranked killer, was already on his way to the plane. On the way, he also discussed specific matters with his employer. The next morning, bright sunlight shines down from the sky. In a park where few people visited, Su Yao was sitting on a swing, slowly swinging in the sunshine and wind. Ability. Body of the Gods 346 500 Level 2. Glancing at the panel, Su Yao looked forward to it, it's coming soon, I should be able to reach level 3 in a day or two. He is quite looking forward to the third level. After all, there will usually be a small qualitative change at the third level. And even with his current second level divine body, the changes brought to him are not small. Su Yao found that the density of his body was much higher and his defense seemed to have increased. However, without testing, he could only make a rough guess. The specific strength was a bit uncertain. I remember there was a zoo two kilometers away. Thinking about it, Su Yao became very interested and prepared to go over and test it. It happened to be early in the morning, so the zoo was probably not open, and it was hard to say whether the staff were even at work. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.